Hello, hello, hello. Are we live? Are we running? I think we are. Who do I see over on YouTube? Oh, uh, Twitch even? I see uh, Finder, Legend, Hydrated Pelican, Gaz, West, Huff, F, Hull FM, Amber Wakeling, Lid Mills, Sadman 2K. Uh, is this further away than usual? I can't, I can't read. Dally D01, hello, hello, hello. Over on YouTube, who do I see? I see Lee Saint, I see Stevie Rob, Sam Miles, 50p Hunter, Laughter, Katie Jones, Coins of More UK, Duncan NH, Aiden, GSA Wolf Coins, Frankie Franks, Tom, Thomas Tiffany, Stevie Robs, uh, Sam Miles, hello, hello, Welsh Ryan, uh, Ryan Collects Coins, Shard, The Human from Earth, Richard Harmon, Wendy Fletcher, Yellow Peril, Barry Ryan, Hello, hello, Euro coin roll hunting. Hello, Stacy Lou, thirteen eighty nine. I hope you are all well. Hello, is it Langey? Langey? I know I mispronounced it last week, so <laughs> we'll go for everything. Master Temple's in the hot tub. <laughs> I can't blame you with this weather. Hello, Mister Behoy. Hello, Iclex Coins. Kieran Cooper, Ashley Palmer, Robert Roberts. Hello, Stephen Keeley, Zara Crother, uh, Tomo Lotto, BH, BH, Behoy Billy, Behoy Billy. Oh, there's two Behoys. Stacey looted a six mile walk today with a daughter, and we are shattered. Wow, I imagine so. I imagine so. Well, I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend i've had a great week to be fair i've had the week off work so i'm back to work tomorrow not looking forward to it not looking forward to it but there we go oh i just realized i haven't set up my let's bear with me i haven't set up my uh thingy what's it for the duty what's it very descriptive what well, i'll do that man in in the first break don't worry about it so uh the alphabet 10 p's i was blown away by the response it was a bit slow to begin with and i thought oh this is whiffed a bit but i had a whole bunch of replies in um, do we want to have a look at the well, the idea behind it for those who were watching last week it was we chose the letter A and you could redesign it however you want uh, there will be a prize for the winner as well it'll be picked by your lovely selves in the chat um, I haven't got the the um, duty what's it what's it called the the the, the um, voting thing set up yet but I will do that in my next break don't you worry should we have a little peeky then? Ashley Palmer sent into the peer box. Thank you very, very much. Right now, this should work. I did sort of bodge it together last minute. Okay, so you can still hear me should be able to hear me. I just realized I hadn't put the sound onto it. Let's put me in a little box somewhere. There we go. I can squeeze in just there, I reckon. Little me. <laughs> but there we go. We've got loads of different designs, as you can see. Oh, let's get centered. Loads of different designs, as you can see. I'm not going to tell you whose is whose, but uh, we have the number one uh, was two two different options. We had A for Academy Awards and A for, uh, I'm going to have to check my notes because it was a specific train, which I can't recall. Oh, where have I put it on my phone? There it is. Da, 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 da. A is the APT. The train that revolutionised the British rail industry was the first ever tilting train. We had A for Akbar, A for Astronomy, A for A Oreo, A for Attenborough, that's number four. Then we come down to number five, uh, which is A for Alexander Graham Bell. Then six is A for Armchair, A for Apple Pie, that's me in the middle there. Then you've got A for Army or Armed Forces, I guess. Uh, number nine is A for Afternoon Tea again. Uh, Ten is A for Aviation. Oh, 11 is for A for afternoon tea again. No, number, number nine was the first A for afternoon tea. 11 was afternoon tea again. 12 is A for absolute coins. And 13A is Abbey Road. So you will all get to vote. 
there'll be a voting uh, system in place after I take my first break, after the first 10 pee bag, I'll get it all set up um, after I've washed my hands. So I will get that all set up for you. But as you can see, a really nice varied response. Some that really did make me chuckle and some are awesome. Aviation Media would like to confirm that number 10 is not theirs. There's some really cracking designs that I love them. To be fair, they're all really neat ideas uh, and very, very... I, I did one as well. I did one as well. What have I done with my one? Oh, all that, all that time and effort. Oh, it's on top of my doodah. I thought lead by example. Lead by example. What is the A10P? It's The actual one is A4 Angel of the North. Right, we'll flip back, we'll flip back to the doodah. So that's the one I did. Why am I doing it on that account? Egypt. A for Aston Martin. That was my one. <laughs> it's pretty pads, but it'll do. I was I was surprised with my own. I was surprised myself with that, I must admit. It's all going a bit skew with they. But yeah, A for Aston Martin. That was my design. And if you guys are enjoying it, we'll do the letter B redesign for next week. So that'll be your homework. I need to stop putting things on his doodle. <laughs> dear, dear. They won't send you one, you know. Oh, well, I can try, Steve. I can try, can't I? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'll flip back to it just whilst I grab the bag of coins. So these are all the letters, letter A redesigns that were submitted. Some real stunners. I was really impressed. So, soak it all up. I will put the survey up. Um, I'll put the survey up after I wash my hands after this bag of coins. So don't you worry. Oh, crash bang wallop. Good, good one, Christopher. Just bash your phone around. LB wants a shout out for him and his wife, Emma. Big shout out to you two then. What's the hat today? It's the purple fez. It's the 10p fez. Oreos are from the US. Don't begin with A. It's A Oreo. <laughs> little bit of a stretch. Little bit of a stretch granted, but there we go. If someone went to the effort to design one, I wasn't going to kick him out because of it. Because A for Academy Award, that's an American thing, but I think it's a cool design. I think someone's got the effort to draw that. I've got no issue with that being part of it. But at the end of the day, you guys get to vote for it. Uh, thank Yeah, thank you very much for writing in, Dylan. I'm glad I got your letter as well. Uh, am I in a call with anyone? No, I, I thought I'd do, a, I'd do one by myself today because with, with a call going on at the same time, it's hard to keep track and keep playing with the... Uh, or keep replying to messages and comments. So I thought today I'd do one solo. But also, lots of the coin tubers have been very generous in giving up their time for not just myself but other channels as well. So I thought uh, instead of uh, begging, begging for more people to come onto the live stream, why not do one... Just me and you guys for a change. Number three gets kicked out. Disgraceful. What was number three? <laughs> a Oreo. <laughs> British Academy Awards. Is that not? Is there a British Academy Awards? Uh oh. We seem to have lost connection. Um, are we back? It looks like we're back. We're back. Huzzah, we're back. <laughs> BAFTA. Oh yeah, the BAFTA, the British Academy of Film and Television Awards. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just guessing there. I haven't got a clue. Not a Scooby-Doo. Yeah, looks like we're back. I've got a bit of a delay on my YouTube now. Let me just refresh that. Right. Testing, testing, just seeing how long the delay is. Oh, it's quite a delay. Oh, there we go. We're back up and running. We're rocking and rolling again. How will the voting system work? It'll be just be a straw poll that I'll put up. I'll put it up um, when I come back from the doodah. 
Serdan Vlahodovic says, Chris, do you remember me? Of course I remember you. Yeah, you came onto the Discord um, voice chat one night. All is good. All is good. So what does BAFTA stand for? British Academy of Film and Television Awards? Is that it? Have I just completely guessed that? Academy of Arts was an option. That's on a £5 coin already. Northern Coins says, wish I'd entered. I thought, now I thought action, man. <laughs> well, you, we've got B for, bo B, for, uh, B for what's currently Bond. And we can do a redesign of that for this week. Because um, it's been kind of fun having all these messages flying in over the course of the week. Barry the Change Deck has got a really cool £1 trial token. Have you got one or would you get one? I haven't got one yet. I would like to find one though. Ah, oh, Callie says B for the bubblegum juice. I've got some, not to hand. I've got, I didn't actually grab a drink before we started, but I'll grab one. But yeah, that, that was over the moon with all those responses. Right then, so 10 Ps. We're on 10 Ps to begin with. What are we hunting for then? We have got, uh, this 2018, we've got B, C, E, G, F, L, M, J, I, N, Q, P, S, R. We've got a whole panel there. X, Y, W, Z, V, T, and U. So we're just missing O, K, H, D, and A. A B for Bungle. How many Bungle ones am I going to have flying in? <laughs> I guarantee you Bungle does one, though. Um, 2019, though, we have decidedly less. We've got E, we've got G, we've got F. We've got L, K, J, I, O, X, V, T, and that's it. We've got plenty to find for 2019. C for Caledonian coins. Definitely, definitely. C for Christopher Collects. B for B Hoy. But yeah, I thought it was, I didn't know whether it was going to be a success, whether people were actually going to uh, come on board and do it, but I had about three submitted over the course of the week I was like uh oh this hasn't gone down very well and I put a little reminder up and I had a whole bunch of them come flying in so uh, we'll be sure to revisit that little screen whoops when did you get a Kew Gardens 2018 September I haven't had one since. I have found two though. One before I started making videos and one in the September after I started making the videos. So I got two in quite quick succession to be fair. But no, I'm ever hopeful that the next one will turn up at some point. It'd be lovely. I have also, breaking news, just for you guys on the live stream, I've recorded my whole collection video now. It is almost all recorded. I need to find one more of my books. One of my books has gone amiss. So I need to record that and edit that in. But it is all recorded. It just needs editing and oh my goodness, it's going to take me a long time. It's going to take me an awful long time to edit that. But I'm hoping for about a two week turnaround on it. A couple of evenings, I should be able to get it all, all edited. But that is going to be a bit of a marathon video. It's going to be. It was. It, I sat down at midday, on whatever day I was. The Thursday, I think I just. I was doing it. It was Thursday. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. I sat down at midday to do final prep, and I was still recording at two o'clock in the morning. So, <laughs> gives you an indication of the amount of time I spent doing it. And I had such an achy, achy back after it, but it'll be worth it because that video will all be sorted now. Uh, Lange says my user pronun my user pronunciate oh goodness pronounce the username Lane like street Lane oh what's the G and the Y all about then <laughs> if it's just pronounced Lane is it a three hour special it might well be it might well be but after I've edited it cut out the bits of me flapping around like a lunatic trying to start find stuff and um fluffing my lines how long is it unedited oh, I think it's about six hours unedited so <laughs> three times the length of the last time um, and halfway through I figured out a quicker way to record it but I thought for the consistency I need to carry on doing it the way I was doing it uh, rather than start all over again but the next one I do which won't be for some time I hasten to add 
uh, I've got a, a much more Christopher friendly way of recording it. Will there be Discord after the stream? As always, definitely, of course. I am, I am gonna have to grab a bite to eat though before the before going over to Discord. Cause I had a late lunch, but I haven't had I haven't had anything with dinner yet. So if I start chewing on coins, <laughs> or if my stomach starts rumbling again, my apologies in advance. I did also see Snapdragon. Where's Snapdragon gone? Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sure Snapdragon's still here. Coin 101 hopes having pizza for dinner. Oof. Jealous, jealous, jealous. The audio is out of sync. I had to refresh to sync the audio again. Let me just refresh. Um, are we synced up again? If you refresh, does that resync the audio? Am I going to restart the stream? Out of sync. Stephen Coverdale's all right. Snapdragon's there. Ah, oh, apparently, if you refresh the stream, it'll resync it all. That might be the slight blip I had earlier. So if you're having delays. If it looks like you're watching a foreign dubbed film, uh, try, <laughs> try refreshing the stream. It looks like it's working over on Twitch. Did I remove my ring on my hand? No, it's always been there. Can't get the thing off. <laughs> uh, I completely lost train of thought while saying, oh, Snapdragon. A big thank you to Snapdragon. I opened up this members section thing on YouTube. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm doing with it, but I think Snapdragon was the first person to join it, to join it. And you get some, you get a little Christopher Collects icon. Um, and you also get custom emo custom doodah, what's it, emojis. Um, there's a Christopher Collects one and there is a Team Tower and Team Cathedral special um, emoji, I think it is. Is it called an emoji? Go on, Snapdragon, if you're there, show us, show us the emojis. I haven't actually seen what they look like in text. I was kind of just playing around with it one evening. Caledonian Coins is here. Hello, Caledonian Coins. Caledonian Coins had pizza. Lovely. How do you join as a member? Next to the subscribe button, there is a join button. How is everyone today? I am fantastic, Kieran. I hope you're well as well. Uh, Sadman2k can heat me, can also hear me. And hello to Olivia Rules. Do you know when we'd like to see 2019 Minchish figures released? I suspect it'll be October time again like last year. Who knows? Who knows? The whole current situation in the world might have delay it might delay it even further. Oh yes, the um the little icons. What are they? Toledonians, holy Toledonians, and holiest of Toledo Toledonians. Oh god, that's a bit of a mouthful. I didn't think that through, did I? <laughs> but yeah, Toledo. To oh, I've really I've really picked a, I've really picked something to make it difficult for myself. Toledonians. Hashtag Team Tower, says Stacey Lou. Couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. Please, new 50p coins. Yep, hope you find some new ones today. Chicken, pork, mash, five different veg, pudding with gravy. Oh, sounds beautiful, Denise. If you've got a spare plate, <laughs> send it my way. How'd you get a spanner? Oh, well. Um, it's people that I know and people that I trust. Uh, when, if we ever tie at any point where I don't feel there's enough spanners in chat, I might give some people a battlefield promotion. 
Uh, James E. B. Hoy counts himself more as a disciple of the Fez. There we go. But no, I'm still playing around with the members section. Uh, all the different doodah what's that you can get. So all your special perks and privileges for being a member. Stacey Lee's hoping to get enough donations then we'll shave off her long hair for Macmillan. Wow. Very well. A very worthy cause. If you send me a link to your whatever fundraiser it is, your GoFundMe page or whatever, send me a link to that on one of your on one of those social media what's it. I'll get a bit of a plug for you. There we go, Snapdragon's posted the little the little thingy what's it. As I said I'm still getting a bit used to still getting a bit used to what I'm doing with the member section. Homemade state power was amazing, wow. But no, we've got enough spanners at the moment. The chat is full of spanners at the moment, so we're all good right now. No, has anyone had their what's the your, your your star find of the week or star perch of the week given the, the situation we're in holy toledo laughter has joined as a member thank you very very much welcome to toledian level what would you say the holy grail of uk coins is well coin hunting it's got to be the kew gardens that is the ultimate holy grail of coin hunting in the uk Caledonian is halfway to Asda. Don't want that in a cool bing bong spillage in aisle three. <laughs> uh, Lane loves the live shoes. Thank you very much. Does Paddington the Cathedral count as a star pull? No way, Jose. Not a chance. I picked Dictionary as a star pull over Paddington at the Cathedral. <laughs> Thank you very much, Katie Jones, joining as a member. Like I said, it's still a work in progress in the member section. And Daniel Lane is the holiest of Toledians. Thank you very much. Uh, but I'm open to suggestions on what the little icons you should all have for becoming a member. I purposely only put a few in because there's plenty of space you guys to come up with some ideas yourselves what designs are they like on the pound coins counties all the different counties across the country fiona fraser is now hosting the stream with five viewers thank you very very much fiona that's very kind of you i hope your live stream went well uh, barry the change jacket just completed an a to z 10p and almost got all the 50 p's. Is it smart for all two pounds as I've got about 25 of the 50 something? Yeah, why not? If you're enjoying it, go for it. A Fez icon, that is a good idea. Hello, Fiona Fraser. What were you live streaming then, Fiona? How do you join? It's a, there's a button next to the subscribe button on YouTube. <laughs> Cathedral versus the tower. There we go. I think I might have to rework those and get transparency on them. Bus simulator. Ah, fantastic. The join button isn't on mobile. Oh, I see. Hey, Luke's leader, thank you very much, Welsh Ryan, for joining.
Ryan Collects Coins just received a 2020 annual coin set. Really happy with it. Amazing. Very cool. Uh, how much money do you want to paint your nails on live stream? It won't happen. It won't happen. Not a chance. I'm not going to encourage that kind of behavior. <laughs> I'm not a dancing monkey. And enough said on that topic. <laughs> I can hear you typing. I can hear you all typing. Both Selects Coins wants a big, big shout out to Anthony Deathridge. Uh, he's watching live now and he's four. Well, hello to Anthony. Thank you for tuning in, Anthony. £25 in the Olympics. Not enough. Not enough. Have we had luck today? Nothing yet. We've had a case of the diddlies, unfortunately, at the moment, but I'm ever hopeful. We've got plenty of bags to go through still. But no, those of you that joined as members over on YouTube, do get in contact with me for ideas for things that uh, should be available to members. I'm more than happy uh, to take uh, your advice on it. I think it should be you're sort of driven by yourselves rather than by myself. I can come up with ideas, but at the end of the day, you guys are the members. When does the vote start? I will set it up once I go wash my hands. Uh, Freddy Doll says, I'm back. Uh, being made to watch with my dad again. Love the fez. <laughs> being made to watch with your dad. Amazing. <laughs> Deary dear. <laughs> that really tickled me, that did. That 10B had no edge then, did it really? Thank you very, very much. Gary Logan has joined as a holy Toledonian. I missed a big 10P. Did I really? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm sure I would have felt that. Are you all trying to have me on over there? Monthly membership giveaway, yeah, I thought um, members giveaways to, in addition to standard um, giveaways that I've been doing, I've, I've been holding off on the giveaways currently because I, I can't get, to the, I just can't get to a post office to send things signed for at the moment. I don't really want to risk sending them not, it not signed for because there's some nice prizes that are due out to people. But thank you for those that did win. Your patience. I missed a cue. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt very much that I missed a cue. But I'm conscious that I don't also, because uh, to be a, being a member, you pay for being a member. Apart from your first membership, I believe the first membership up until June first is free. Uh, it's a YouTube initiative. So I don't want to hide everything behind a paywall. Uh, just some extra bits and pieces. Oop. So all your standard videos will still be going up as they do at the moment. So don't fear about that. Any queue misses at the post office, I know. I've seen the queue at my local post office because out the door down the street. How many Lunar Zodiac five pound coins have been released? Lunar Zodiac five pound coins. Uh, and then I don't think they're going to be they're not Royal Mint UK ones are they that's not oh the oh you mean the the Chinese uh, lunar year I'm with you um I don't know it must be three or four mustn't there one hasn't come out since I started buying the five pound coins to be fair 
Thank you very, very much, James E. B. Hoy Coins is, is now a Toledo. A Tol oh God, I really picked a stupid name, didn't I? Toledonian. <laughs> But I'd be interested to know, someone else knows the answer to how many Zodiac five pound coins have come out. Because I don't know off the top of my head, there must, I think there must be four, four I'd guess at. Maybe five. I'm trying to think which ones I remember. I remember the rat, I remember the pig. I'm sure it's a different one at the moment. That's three. Duncan NH, thank you very, very much for joining as a member. Uh, George Dog 29 says, while I'm watching, I'm writing into Caledonian Coins and Total Coins as PO Box. Awesome. I look forward to seeing that on their videos. And Sean, thank you very much for joining as well. Wow, we. Managed to get it on iPad via the browser. Oh, I see. There's only been one bunk. All the rest have been silver and gold only. Oh, I see. So there have been other issues of the different Zodiacs, but only one has been a bunk five pound coin then. I see, I see. Just ordered a takeaway, ever missed anything? No, unfortunately not. We have found diddly at the moment. Absolutely diddly, not even a territory yet. This has not been the greatest bag, but we still have four bags to go after this handful. We could be saved by one of these last bags. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, eyes crossed, legs crossed. Cross everything, cross everything. Final Captain Cook is coming out. Yes, it comes out, is it this week? But definitely getting it. I've got the other two. There's so many Christophers, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it allows you to then post these over on other channels. Oh wait, it's Sunday. It is very much so. End of the weekend again. Can you believe it? I'm back to work tomorrow. I can't. I can't wait for that. As you can tell, as you can probably tell. There are over eight billion people on this planet, yet there's only three hundred sixty-six birthdays. Well, there you go. There's a shower thought for you. Romans not minting coins yet, are they not? Are you going to do subs on Twitch as well as YouTube join? Um, the Twitch, I can't quite get my head around. I think because the thing is I've got to hit seven, seven different streams in a month to qualify but I only do one a week so I won't hit that seven a month ever um, and there's just I just don't have the time and space in my week to do more than one stream a week I think one stream a week is plenty as well The Royal Mint closed for making coins. I know they're, they're closed for, for visitors, so you can't go to the Doodah. You can't go to the Royal Mint Experience, but... I have a question. If you had to bathe in one liquid other than water for the rest of your life, what would it be? Sparkling water. Does that count? <laughs> Vinegar. Oh, no, no, no. Cop out. <laughs> cool. Then what other liquid? Everyone else then in the um in the chat. If you could only bathe in one other liquid other than water, what would you all pick? Chocolate. 
chocolate milkshake. Milk says Harry's Nan. <laughs> Harry's Nan's Cleopatra. Harry's Nan is obviously Cleopatra then. Hello to King Arios. The bubblegum juice. Oh, yes. Good idea, but it would get a bit sticky. It would get a bit sticky. Holy Toledo, we found something. Can you believe it? We found a Jersey 10 pence. Unbelievable. Cream soda. Iron brew, milk, Fanta, Dr. Pepper. Do I keep all the coins I find? Only the ones I want to keep. Most of them go back to the bank. Stevie Rob's going to bathe in gravy, Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew. Sean says perfume. That's a good idea. Lilt, says Gary Logan. Beans, says Robert Roberts. Pepsi Max Cherry. Beer. Umbongo. <laughs> Beer, Red Bull, Champagne says laughter there. Laughter's got the right idea. Laughter's got the right idea. Mint ice cream. Ugh. No way. Imagine getting into a bathtub full of ice cream. That'd be horrific. It'd be absolutely horrific. It's bad enough getting into a, a bath of cool, cool water. Lane's going to bathe in vodka. Robert Roberts called it. Called it. He said it was going to be a Jersey coin first. There we go. Robert Roberts, the all-knowing all sage. Are we going to get Kew Gardens today, Robert Roberts? Say yes. Say yes. US Mountain Dew says total coins. Whoops. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping coins everywhere. Uh, could I shout out? I saw someone shout out Squishy and Mr. Man, please. Hello to Squishy and Mr. Man, whoever they are. <laughs> Didn't think about how cold it would be in ice cream. No. My user is. I thought you said I you pronounced it Lane. Or was it Lanegy? Laney? You're gonna have to spell it out phonetically. That's the only way I learn. <laughs> I think it'd be rather painful to bathe in vodka. I don't. Know, I think you get over it quite quickly. To be fair. Oh, Laney, I'm with you. Right. <clears throat> Henceforth, you should be known as Darth Laney. <laughs> I'll try and remember. I'll try and remember. How long have I been doing this? We've been live for 45 minutes. We're just coming to the end of the first bag. Well, it wasn't absolutely diddly, but it was near as damn it. We got ourselves a Jersey 10 pence at least. Uh, 1992, that's the year we always find to be fair. Do I check my change? Of course. Every, I check every, 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 all the change I can get my hands on. Kean's surname is pronounced Regan. Oh, Regan. I think I could keep calling you Reagan, don't I? <laughs> there is a famous Reagan in my defence though, and it's spelt the same way, so uh, that at least you can drink it. The vodka, yeah. I'm not quite sure how much of a bathtub full of vodka you could drink before you keel over. You know what I mean. Oh, I see. <laughs> Amber Wakeling filled a bathtub with pink glittery PVA glue. It was a dirt. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine having to clean that? Oh my lord. Are you be scraping glitter out of the bathtub for the rest of eternity you'd have to get a new bath you'd have to get a new bath wouldn't you pink gin there we go but there, there we go that's what we found we're gonna swip over to the alphabet letters so these are last week's live stream i said send in your submissions for your redesigned a uh for the alphabet 10 piece obviously it's a for um uh, Angel of the North at the moment. We've got some submissions from left to right. Number one, uh, it, was, it was submitted twice. Uh, two different ones, A for Academy Awards and... Oh, is, is that actually the BAFTA? That does actually look like the BAFTA. I think you guys are right. I think I've mislooked mis at that. Uh, and it was a train AMG, I think it was called. I, I forget. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, we then have A for Admiral Akbar for number two. Uh, I haven't put a number for astronomy. What a donut. Okay, well, I'll put that separately. A for astronomy. A for A, Oreo for number three. Number four is A for Attenborough. Five is A for Alexander Graham Bell. Six is A for Armchair. Seven is A for Apple Pie. Eight is A for Army, was it Armed Forces? Uh, nine for A for Afternoon Tea. Ten is A for Aviation. Eleven is A for Afternoon Tea again. Twelve is A for Absolute Coins. And thirteen is A for Abbey Road. 
back. So uh, you can't vote at the moment. I am going to be setting up a a uh, a voting thing at the in the moment. So uh, bear with me whilst I get that all set up. I'm going to go wash my hands though because they are filthy. Uh, so I should be back in a moment. And we're back. Oh. Right, bit of a health warning. I vape, you shouldn't vape, don't vape. You will spontaneously combust if you vape. Do as I say, not as I do. Agreed? Robert Roberts, thank you very much for joining as a member. And also Joe Collects Coins, thank you very much. Welcome to being a Toledian. To Toledonian, even. Right. This survey thing. Let me get this all set up. Give me two seconds. Uh, what's it called? I know. What was it called? Straw poll, wasn't it? Straw poll. Create a poll. Favorite a redesign. Right, we've got number one, number two, astronomy, number three, four, five. You watch it run out of options. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and finally 13. Da, 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 da. Allow multiple choices? No. Multiple votes of 1p? No. Create the poll. Bada bing, bada boom. Let me copy that link. I'll put it in the thingy what's it and then I'll put it in the doody what's it as well. So hold on to your horses. Right. I 
it should appear in the chat in a moment. There we go. Can I copy that? Can I heck? Oh dear. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Oh, I've lost the stream now. I'm just emailing it to myself. I'll do it on my laptop. It'll be easier. Oops. Let's not lock, knock the drink over onto the laptop. That would spell certain disaster. Right. Oh, that email did not come through. Oh, there it has that. Right, copy link. Or open it, whatever. There we go, I'm putting it into Discord, into that as well, whatever it's called. Uh, right, let's go to YouTube. I'm just going to add it into the description as well. I shan't be a moment. He says, I do know how to do this, I do know how to do this. Come on, Christopher. Videos, live. There it is. So redesign a poll. Oh, it's vegan. There we go. That should now appear. <laughs> we got them in there. Oh dear. That should momentarily pull across and appear in the description. And I'm sure one of the moderators over on Twitch can keep re, re putting it down as people ask. Oh dear, George voted the wrong one by accident. <laughs> 13 will win, says Robert Roberts. I don't know, I haven't actually had a look yet. I think the problem is I've got to vote to be able to see what, what's winning, don't I? Which one's my favourite? I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say. Thirteen's where in the lead, isn't it? Holy Toledo. Number four, though. Number four, what's number four? Attenborough, there we go. Attenborough's doing well too. But no. A big thank you to everyone that has sent in those redesigns. I thought they were awesome. The whole Star Wars themed alphabet would be great. Oh, I know. I totally agree. I've misnumbered the pictures. Yeah, num number the A for astronomy doesn't have a number, so I've just put that down as astronomy. But everything else has got a number. The first one is the A for Academy of the Awards and the A for the... Uh, is AM was AMG MY train? Um, that is one person's submission. What's my favourite? I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. They were all amazing designs, and I'm very grateful to receive even just the one. So I won't pick a favourite. I won't pick a favourite personally. You can hear my drink fizzing. My apologies. Let me move it out of the way. Well, vape juice, it's um, Amigo One Frozen Grape Soda. It's lovely. Will there be another competition? Yes, so next week we'll do B. Because uh, it's got it's gone so well, to be fair. I'm more than happy to run it again. Uh, so B, your redesigns for B. That's your homework for next week. And if you can get it to me by Saturday, that would be amazing. But no, some really, really stunning designs. Some quite out of the box ones as well, which I liked. Hello, Pajama Idiot. I'm great, thank you. How are you? 
Do I like vaping because I sound like Darth Vader? No, I like vaping because I'm addicted to nicotine and it's not as bad as smoking. Do you send them into the peer box? No, if you if you do your design, take a photo of it and uh, tag me on some social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, send it to me on Discord, send it to me in a private message if you don't want to put it publicly. So if you'd rather not send it to me publicly, uh, for, everyone, for all to see, feel free to send it to me as a private message. Did, did I used to smoke? Yes, I gave up smoking uh, five years ago. It would be, yeah, five years in October. And I miss them every day since. I've missed them every day since. <laughs> don't smoke, kids, don't smoke. Uh, George Dog can't because you're only 11. Uh, have you, any of your parents got social media? Parents, older siblings, aunties, uncles, grandmas, grandma on Facebook. <laughs> if not, there is a email address in the about section. You can email it into there as well. But it might be easier to get one of your relatives to send it because I get an awful lot of emails flying into my email box. I try and keep on top of them, but I do miss things from time to time. What am I doing? I've, I'm a little bit... Holy Toledo! Uh, Fish One Sun has joined over. Has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. 10 Ps, uh, 10 Ps, what? I'm not even close to 10 Ps. 50 Ps, 50 Ps. Come on, Fish, get out of the way. <laughs> I've got a live room to do. We've got all of them on the first page, excluding Q Gardens. Q Gardens being the most difficult coin to find. It'd be a lovely one to find there. We've got all of these Olympics though, including football. We've got this whole page as well. And all we're missing is Olympic triathlon on this page. So we're doing well. We're doing well. Kew Gardens and Olympic triathlon. We've got a wrestling. We've got all the other modern ones up to and including uh, the Brexit 50p as well. So there we go. Uh, Sam Mars says, you're going to find Q and lots of Olympics. Well, I've got my fingers crossed. I've got my fingers crossed. If you catch up to PewDiePie in subscribers, will you reveal your real job? If I catch up to PewDiePie in subscribers, I won't have to do a real job anymore. <laughs> but no, I think, I think coin collecting is a little bit more niche than what PewDiePie does, if I'm honest. So I think our chances of that are slim to none. Right, so Britannia's will be looking for the years 2008. I probably won't be spotting them as we go, uh, but uh, I will hunt through them off off camera at the end of the live stream. Shields will looking for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18. I haven't seen any 2020 ones either, so maybe that one too. That's a shiny one, isn't it? It's a 97. Hmm. Who is PewDiePie? He's only the biggest YouTuber on YouTube, isn't he? In the biggest independent <coughs> single person rather than being a co company. I must admit, I didn't I didn't realise he'd, he'd changed doing the sort of videos. I wasn't interested in the whole scary uh, games screaming like a lunatic. But the sort of commentary... I've got a couple. My brother's the person who recommended I give him another try. Oh, we've got public libraries there. Very, very common. Which is the best Peter Rabbit? Uh, well, 2018 is the lowest um, minted, uh, lowest minted circulating one, but 19 and 20 weren't issued for circulation. So if you find one of them, you're golden. PewDiePie watches memes now. Yeah. I've, again, I think memes tend to get over my head. I don't, I quite, don't quite understand how something becomes a meme, and I don't understand how everyone knows all the memes. So, <laughs> my little brother Patrick has to explain them to me. To be fair, most of the time, but there we go. I'm a little bit out of the loop in that in that sense. But in terms of my favourite design of a Peter Rabbit. It's got to be 2018. 
It's an awesome design. Get it out of my face. Lynn Mills doesn't understand memes either. There we go. There is a bee in your bedroom. Oh my goodness, I would run screaming. There would be a Christopher Cleck shaped hole in my wall. It'd be like Looney Tunes. I would not be hanging around. Bees and wasps, I can't stand them. In fact, we were, we were accosted by, was it a bee or was it a wasp or both? One, one of the Royal Mint trips, so some of you did see me freaking out a little bit. We've got Tom Kitten there, my favourite uh, 2017 Beatrix Potter with his old crazy eyes. Do you use a tripod for these? No, I've got this, you can just about see this overhead doodah thingy. I did for the um, uh, whole coin collection because I wanted the camera to be looking down at an angle rather than a bird's eye view, that video. Gotta love the tassels. I remember moving them when I graduated high school and constantly moving it out of my face. Yeah, when I graduated university, you had one of those, is it mortar boards with the tassel on the top? There we go. Peace, prosperity and pepperonis maketh the breakfast coin. I must admit, I am keeping them all just in case the mintage figures uh, make, uh, make it a desirable coin to have. It all depends whether they put that extra 7 million into circulation because obviously they circulated 3, 3 million uh, initially. Officially, initially. Limo Scott's her first one of those today. Amazing. Very good. How am I with heights? I'm not too phased about heights. We've got Victoria Cross the medals, very cool. But no, not bad for, with heights. Like, I don't, I don't want to jump out of a plane though. I'm not exactly thrilled by them, but I don't get, I don't suffer from chronic vertigo or anything. We've got Representation of the People Act, which is very common, but it's a cool design. I do like the Representation of the People Act then. That'd be an interesting question for you guys in the chat then. Of all of the coins with high mintage figures. What would you say your favourite is? So a coin that's a very common coin. What would you say your most favourite common coin is? Lawrence Mourner says, I'm Lawrence from your peer box opening from Ireland. Well, thank you very much for writing in, Lawrence. Jeremy Fish says, Hydrated Pelican. <clears throat> It's cool design. It's cool design. I'll give you that. Robert Roberts only has to stand on a matchstick and he's scared. <laughs> oh dear. No, I've, I've done like abseiling before. We've got representation of the people act there. Stacey Lou likes the Nightingale coin design. Oh, I agree with you there. It's my favourite two pound coin other than uh, Frankenstein. Benjamin Bunny for the coin collector. Uh, Jockey Garden says probably Paddington the Station. Battle of Britain says Sam Miles. Tale of Peter Rabbit says uh, Lawrence Mulner. What do I think about the Australian A to Z coins? I think they're really neat. When's the next PO box opening? Maybe Thursday. I have got some more bits for the PO box. Um, but it's all down to time in terms of recording and then editing that video. Locked and Rand says Sean. Master Temple says Tiggy Winkle. Paddington at the Palace says Sporty Girl. Kian Regan. Regan. Got it right. Got it right. 2016. Peter Rabbit. Roger Bannister says Paul McQueen. Oh, Crazy Eyes Tom Kitten says Katie Jones. Can't beat a good old Britannia says Fish. Fish one. Fish one son. <laughs> Not sure I'm pronouncing that right. I, uh, where are you going to be making a video with half asleep Chris? Oh, that, that has got out then, has it? Um, so yeah, we were planning something. It's just the whole lockdown situation sort of put, put the brakes on that. 
But after the lock after lockdown has all expired, hopefully you're still game for it. George Dog, Christopher, do you have any pets? I have one called Very Good, Very Funny. You're not gonna get me. I do have a pet. I have a cat called Wedge. Who made uh, a guest star appearance in my whole collection video. And then went psycho and had to be kicked out of the room. <laughs> Seen the comments of his second newest video. Sounds exciting. It was quite exciting. It was. I can't wait. Is half asleep Chris a coin collector? Yeah, he does. He does uh, much more than just sort of coin collecting videos. But a little sneaky fact: when I was about ten thousand subscribers and he was at thirty thousand subscribers, there's a representation of people act. Uh, he reached out to me to say if we want, if I wanted to do a sort of collaboration video. And at that time, I was very uh, naive and didn't really understand how you how the whole YouTube stuff works. And I uh, very politely declined. I chickened out basically. So I missed that opportunity, but <laughs> you live and you learn. You live and you learn. This cat castle video is amazing. Oh, I know, isn't it just? Isn't it just? Would coin tubers like to see other royals on the back of coins? Would coin tubers? Oh yeah, I totally agree. I think it would be a great idea to have a, co a coin set with all the different monarchs that have been minted on coins. I think that would be an awesome set to complete. We've got dictionary there, very, very common. If you guys could keep any animal as a pet, what would you be? I'm quite content with a cat. I don't want anything more high maintenance than a cat, if I'm honest. <laughs> Jockey Gardens is a mongoose. I'm not even sure if I'd recognize a mongoose if we met down a dark alley. Is everybody in here coin collectors? I would imagine so, I would imagine so. Why is he called Wedge after the Star Wars character? Yep. Do you have the 2012 Olympic completing medallion? I don't know. Would love to see a double headed coin. That's a good idea. Aviation Media wants an, a pet octopus. Random name I use for my PlayStation Network account. Stuck with me forever for the foreseeable. I see. Oh, well, there we go. We've got 2020. No point to guessing what that's going to be. No points for guessing what this is going to be. Isaac Newton? Oh, man, if this is a 2020 Isaac Newton. Oh, George Dog's got it. Don't know why that's auto moderated. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast coin. We got Ironside there. Whoops. But no, hunting through my whole collection, making that whole collection video. It has maybe rivers. I might have a bit of a problem. I might have a bit of a hoarding problem. <laughs> You'll see in the video. You'll see in the video. Uh, just sent for the 50p bar pepperoni. Every message of his is held for some reason. Must be banned from a lot of chats. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Deary dear. Uh, Beata says, I hope you find a cube. Me too. Wouldn't that just be superb? Uh, not likely, but oh, oh, there we go. There are a couple of finds. Battle of Hastings. That's a pretty good find in and, in and of itself. In and of itself. That's right, right? Right, right. <sighs> and we've got our first um, from the Olympic set, Paralympic Archery. Lovely, lovely stuff. To be fair, any 50p coin hunt, you find one Olympic. That's good. Two is super. Anything more than two is pretty earth-shattering stuff. Have I got a Gruffalo? I got the bunk and the silver. I've never found one in circulation, though. But they're not intended for circulation, so the chance of finding one of them in the wild is pretty slim to none.
Does your drink turn purple too? Mm. No. The towel changes colour due. Um, it's the it's the the, the towel was given to me. Uh, was it the last Roman trip or the time before that? I forget now. Um, Lady M decided my purple towel, my orange towel, had ha had seen better days, and so she gave me this one, which I use for the live streams. And it's it's magical colour changing. Sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's purple. The drink is purple. <laughs> Oh dear, Kian. Do an edge hunt, do an edge hunt. Okay, okay. Right. So the two pound coins have edge inscriptions. And you can try and guess what they are from looking at the edge of the coins. And we jokingly, I jokingly said, should we do an edge hunt for the 50Bs? And everyone was calling out numbers. So you shout out a number. Obviously there are uh, two over 200 people watching across YouTube and Twitch. So you're not, not everyone's going to get a chance. But Sean's first in with 13. 2, 4, 6, 8... 10, 12, 13. Sean has found a uh, Britannia. Uh, Harry's Nan has got five, two, four, five. Harry's Nan found a Taylor of Gloucester. Ding, ding, ding. Points to Harry's Nan. Points are redeemable by ripping off the top of your television set and posting it into Bungle's PO box. Um, James B. Hoy says seven, two, four, six, seven, seven is a shield. Uh, laughter said 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Laughter has found a Britannia. Uh, over on Twitch, we've got the coin collector. So 7 from top, 2, 4, 6, 7 from top is a shield. Uh, Steven Box Coin says 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Stephen Box Coins found a shield. Uh, Teague Bunny says 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 8. Teague Bunny finds a Britannia. Uh, Laney says 6, 2, 4, 6, 6 is a Britannia. Uh, <laughs> woof, woof. Welsh Ride says 6, 2. Everyone take 6, 2, 4, 6. Uh, Welsh Ride and Shield. Uh... Fish it it's fish Wonson says four two four. Thank you for picking a low number. Fish found a shield. Uh, Joe collects coins says two. Oh, nice low number. Well done you. Shield. Uh, James Palmer says ten two four six eight nine. And back to the front with ten is a shield. Uh, Steve, we had Steve from Bucks coins. Um, Joshy says number one. Joshy found a shield. Uh, Ruby Davis is nine, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Back to the front, one in is a Britannia. Uh, Flash says four, two, four. I apologize for those of you trying to get messages across to me. It's a little bit, a little bit nuts over here. Uh, who haven't we had? Master says, do the bottom coin. The bottom coin is a shield. We've got four left, four left. Stephen Coverdale says, four, four is a Britannia. Uh, Michael says two, two is a shield. Um, Sadman, two cases, three, so one back to the front is a shield, and the last one is a Britannia. So, points to who's the points to that one went a bit bonkers. <laughs> who, who, who was it? I guess the, I guess the, the Taylor Gloucester, Harry's Nan, that was it. Well done, Harry's Nan. Your points are redeemable via Bungle Collects Coins. <laughs> Someone's Nan. <laughs> what I'm drinking, it's bubblegum soda. I don't think I have the can to hand. I might put it in the bin. And I'm not going bin diving. Oh, what was that? The bags are moving. They're proper moving by themselves. I've got a demonic possessed bag. Will that make it lucky? 
will that make it lucky? Uh, Rashi Flex found two offside 50 p's in your change. Can't believe it. Holy Toledo, what a find. That must have been someone's paid in coins they were collecting or putting aside. They found their way to you. That is amazing. Yeah, this bag was sliding away. It had a bit of a mind of its own. Should we do, should we do the possessed bag next? Has it been possessed by Q Gardens? Or is it just full of bunnies? Is it just full of bunnies? I do another edge hunt. Well, the penultimate bag will do as an edge hunt. We'll do the penultimate bag as an edge hunt. Uh, right. What was possessing this bag to move? What was possessing this bag to move? Hopefully it's not just fun to bunnies. There is a Paddington at the tower. Go team tower, go team tower. Those are your members. You can pop your little team tower, team cathedral emoticons or whatever they're called. Em emoticons, emojis. They called them emoticons in the 90s, didn't they? That was it. There was a Paddington waiting to get out. 13 has, 13 has won, voting with four, been second. Oh, I see. Well, there's still time for it to turn around. Still time for it to turn around. Let me just have a drink and we'll flip back quickly to the... There we go. That's all the designs. The link is in the description. I'm sure one of my very kind moderators will post a link to the vote. There we go. Laugh just popped in a team tower emoji. <clears throat> but for those of you still voting, that's what you're voting for. Which is your favourite. Robert Roberts was cleaning out the shed and all he found was spiders. <laughs> I'm not too bad with spiders, but I wouldn't go out of my way to cross parts of the spider. Aviation Media was clearing out the shed and found a WWW uh, triathlon and a Q. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. But then next week, B for Bond. Redesign that one, however you wish. We've got another Brexit one. Da, 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 da. I'll tell you what, we'll also do a special prize. If you design the same design as me, you win a prize as well. Public library's there. So instant prize if you make the same design as me. So I'm going to keep it top secret what I'm designing. B for boss, says Master Temple. I'm going to think of something a bit out there, aren't I? But no, ideally something British. Ideally something that's not already on the coins. But if you go to the efforts to write and uh, to design one, I'm not going to exclude you because of it. If I do get an absolute ton of them, I will have to filter which ones make the cut, which I might do on with help from my the, from the us usual suspect over on Discord. Has anyone made the same design? We had two people doing. Uh, a for afternoon tea, number nine and number 11 are both afternoon tea. But no one had the same one as me this time. I did A for Aston Martin. <laughs> Which is pretty pants, but it's the best I can do. B for Bobby Moore. <laughs> B for baked beans. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh, 2017 shield. That's a keeper. There's another Paddington at the tower. What's going on? Two towers and no cathedrals. Well, to be fair, tower is the one you want to see. Tower is definitely the one you want to see. Uh, where do we send the redesigns? Send them to me on, uh, tag me on one of the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Discord. If you don't want to send it, if you don't want to put it publicly, um, if you don't want to post it publicly, send it to me as a message. I'm still not going to get one. <laughs> I can try, Steve. I can try. Wouldn't that be cool, though? Wouldn't that, that would, oh, that's going to be one of the, a, a dream car, hasn't it? 
Oops. That was 2019. I thought it was 2017 for a moment. If Abbey Road's this week, can the Beatles win next week? <laughs> can the Beatles win back to back? We've got B for Benjamin Bunny. B for Benjamin Bunny. What am I on about? <laughs> That's our first Benjamin Bunny as well. Bizarro. Can you send in two? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Can you send it in an email? Yes, of course. But I was saying my email inbox does get a little bit flooded, so if I miss it, you have my apologies. Can you send in two? You can send in two, but I would prefer you send in just the one. In case it gets, you get lots of people um, sending them in this week. Defo Dream Car. Oh, yeah, 100%. We've got ourselves a, a very shoddy looking Battle of Britain. This one has seen some action, hasn't it? Uh, so on Battle of Britain and Battle of Britain alone with the 50 P's, you can find two initials on the obverse, IRB, Ian Rank Broadly. Uh, that was the design of the uh, Queen's thingy, what's it? Uh, Chris, if 13 wins, send the prize to Amber. <laughs> okay, noted. Um, what was I saying? Oh, IRB was only put into the collector sets. It wasn't issued for circulation. JC, Jodie Clark's Design of the Queen's portrait, was put into circulation. We've never found an IRB Battle of Britain, so let's have a look. It's a JC. It's just a JC, but there we go. It's a nice coin. I must admit, I do keep the Battle of Britons now. I have been for some time. We've got a Jeremy Fisher. Very common. So we're just missing... Um, we're just missing Peter Rabbit from the 2017 set, and then we've made that whole set up today. Beef of bacon, that's a good idea as well. One day, Krista, one day, I know, Ruby, one of these days it will happen. The only way you guarantee it won't happen is if you stop, stop looking for it. Portraits are different on the back. Yep, so the the initials stand for the designers of the portraits. So the I, the in rank Broadly portrait is different from the um, Jodie Clark one. We've got a find there, NHS. That's a nice one. It's slightly over face value. Lovely stuff. Pop that down with Battle Hastings and the archery. But thank you very much for, for super chatting, Sean. Oh dear, we've got a bit of a grubby tiggy winkle there. <laughs> Don't lower the tone. Don't lower the tone. <laughs> Joe Hardy says so is making dinner what happened we found a whole bunch of coins to be fair we found uh, uh, archery we found NHS Battle of Hastings a 2017 shield and a tailor of Gloucester right penultimate bag <clears throat> I promised an edge hunt to this if you got an edge hunt if you got your number, if you got a number that's called last time, let, let, let's let everyone else have a chance. Thank you very much for joining as a Toledonian, Sean. Beef for Branston pickle, that's a good idea as well. Chucky Garden says fifth, two, four, five. Chucky Garden has found a shield. Um, Denise Haynes says six, two, four, six, six is a Britannia. <clears throat> uh, Bias says 17 oh my goodness 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 17 Beata has found a uh, Britannia Stacey Lee says 13 2 4 6 8 10 12 13 is a shield Courtney says 9 Six, eight, nine. <clears throat> Courtney found a shield. Gary Outlaw says 11. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Eleven is a shield. Uh, Markety says seven. Two, four, six, seven is a Britannia. Uh, Elks says six, two, four. Four, six is 
a scouts points to elks again points redeemable uh, bungle collects coins <clears throat> free wheeler says four two four four is a shield a weird looking shield there uh, Curtis says five two four five is a shield uh, Dominic says number one number one is Britannia uh, Harrison's coin says three three is a shield Aviation Media says two, two is a Britannia. YG Cup says three, three is a Britannia. Uh, Southwest Grizzle says four, two, four. Southwest Grizzle found a Britannia. Sadman 2K says five, two, four, five is a Britannia. Uh, Aviation Media says two. Number two is a Britannia. Uh oh, we've only got three left here. We've only got three left. Dominic WG says three. Three is a Britannia. We've got two left. Master Temple says top one. Master Temple has found a Britannia. Who wants the last one then? <laughs> Who's going to be first one to say number one? Curtis said number one. George said number one. <clears throat> we've only got one left, so this is YG Carp. Number one. <laughs> it's padded at the cathedral. It had to be the last one, didn't it? <laughs> Other top one. <laughs> Hashtag free the stamps, keep the dreams alive. It's not going to happen, Behoy. Not going to happen, Behoy. <clears throat> Although maybe something for the members section. <laughs> maybe that should be a members only video. Do also check the banknotes. Uh, not actively, no. But some people very very kind as to send some some banknotes into the PO box. So I do have a stash of banknotes already right then so last bag last chance saloon for something exceptional we've had uh, archery though so we have had the customary olympic which is great going no nope, we got diddly in that last bag and <laughs> now there's an idea But star find is that one for sure. Paralympic Games. Paralympic Archery. Wedgie Carp is watching whilst logging some world coins on Numista. Awesome. Stuart Brown says, Hi Christopher, Q here. I wish. I wish. Uh, Dominic, I did my first one of these on Friday. Had great fun with my two year old. Amazing. I hope you found some awesome stuff. B for Blackpool Tower. That's a good one as well. That's a good idea as well. Nice spread of fans. It was quite, to be fair. We did get a fair few different ones. But, um, yeah, yeah, chuffed with that. The Taylor Gloucester is a welcome find as well. 2018 set. They're stunning designs and they're quite low minted as well. So, lovely stuff. Right. As, as per usual, I'm going to go wash my hands. We're going to flip back over to the letters. So, these are all redesigned, sent very kindly in. Oh, let me get centred. Very sent in very kindly by all of the different uh, viewers. Uh, there is a link in the description on YouTube, and I'm sure the mods will repost the link to it. Uh, so if you want to go and vote for your favourite, we had A for Academy Awards and the is it AMG train, AML train. A for Akbar is number two. Astronomy I didn't number because I'm a bozo, but A for astronomy. Uh, number three is A for A Oreo. Should be an Oreo, shouldn't it really? But there we go. Number four is A for Attenborough. Five is A for Alexander Graham Bell. Six is A for Armchair. Seven is A for Apple Pie. Eight is A for Army or Armed Forces. I think it's Army though. Uh, nine is A for Afternoon Tea. Ten is A for, A for Aviation. Eleven is A for Afternoon Tea. Twelve is A for Absolute Coins. And thirteen is A for Abbey Road. Has Absolute Coins still got no votes? We'll know he's watching when he gets a vote. Oh, he has got a vote. He has got a vote. So Absolute Coins is watching, obviously. <laughs> but the runaway winner at the moment is number 13, A for Abbey Road. It is a stunning design, to be fair. It is a stunning design. Uh, second place currently is number 4, A for Attenborough. Third place is 10 for Aviation. There we go. So we got... Well, there's definitely a favourite at the moment. 
but there's still time there's still plenty of time what's up next i'm gonna go wash my hands and then we have a bag of two pound coins to go through so i shall be back in a moment And we're back. We're back for some two pound coins. Has everybody voted then? Has everybody voted already? Don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you very much, Coins and More UK. Is there any JavaScript, whatever that is? Ah. Nice head gear. Thank you. That's our two pound. It's the two pound coin hat. I'm trying to look for something else. Then another sort of silly, silly hat to wear. I don't know whether just to pick a different coloured fez. Java is coat. Java is coffee. That's what I know it as. Java beans. But like rice pudding. Oh, I love I love rice pudding. I don't know where I put my phone at. Pop that down. Need a flat fez. Oh yeah, the flat cap fez. Flat cap fez. That's what we need to do. Right. We'll go back to the two pound to the two pound coins now. Um, he says I've got the book to hand. I'm sure. Two pound coins. We're after the Scotland Commonwealth Games. We found England last week, didn't we? We found Commonwealth Games England. That was pretty exceptional. Uh, we've got this page is full. And we've got a space for the Navy Centenary with the flag error. Although that's just a variance. If we do find Scotland first, we'll move on to the next book. We then have the last two on this page. There we go. There's still a hundred people who haven't voted, says Aviation Media. They need to get they need to get moving then. All right, these are bag bags, so I'm going to keep them. Let me just if I've got a box to hand, I can just stuff them in. So they don't all disappear. Hold hold on. Hold on. There we go. Stuff them in there. Coins and more UK has become a Toledonian. Thank you very, very much. So these are bagged bags. Sometimes we get really good luck with bagged bags. Florence Nightingale there, my favourite circulating two pound coin design. It's a real stunner, isn't it? <laughs> People are already asking for an edge hand. Fine, 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 fine. 
Where did I get the multicolored hat? I think I got it off of eBay. Uh, Jamesy Behoy found it. It was the Behoy that found it. I don't know if you can see that. I can barely see it. Why does it hold your comments automatically? I'm not sure. Uh, George says number four. One, two, three, four. It's standing on the shoulders of giants. Master Tempest is the first one. I think so as well. It says, Isambard Kingdom Brunel Engineer. So that'll be... Uh, Brunel's Portrait? Portrait? Isambard Kingdom Brunel Engineer? There we go. We're learning. Second from bottom is Act of Union. What does it say? United into one kingdom. I think you're right. Who was that? Makamula. Makamula knows his coins. Act of Union. Oh, George, I thought we should have 50 bees. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I think the rest are all standing on the shoulders of giants. I think we've got everything now. What are the chance of a £2 not having an age inscription? Well, they all have it. They're all minted as one, to my knowledge. Obviously, they can get worn away. Maybe we'll make that um, the Discord Discord challenge tonight. Find a find a suitable hat to replace uh, this multicoloured one. Ah, oh, what's up with this? What's going on with this? Look at that. I have a feeling there's something up with this one. I have a feeling that there's something not quite right about this one. That is an awful fake, though. Look at the Queen's face. She's got absolutely no definition in her face. She looks like she's had Botox. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. That side's not too much great. Too much better, anyway. It is, it is the right way around, though. It's loose. I can move the inner part. I don't know if you can see that, but there is movement there. Either that or I had a can of spinach when I went to go wash my hands. I I've got to pick a, I'll put a picture of that up on the um on the social medias so you can see the queen the Botox queen. Cause I can't it's not it's not very clear. Right, I won't put a filter on it. Here is the Botox Queen spell, spell. Right. So those of you who want a better look at it, you will see it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But that is appalling. <laughs> I can't believe you can move it as well. Take the middle bit out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Unbelievable! Look at that. The strength I have in my hands. <laughs> Deary me. I had my wheat to mix today, didn't I? <laughs> Goodness gracious. I can't get it back in now. Oh, no. He's busted. He's busted. <laughs> Amazing. One for the Oddities box. And for those who are interested, the Oddities box does make an appearance in the video. I go through all the coins and try and figure out why I kept this one and why I kept that one. If it is genuine, you just say goodbye to your OBE. No. Oh. Use it as a ring. I don't, I th I'm a bit worried I'm going to get that stuck on my finger. Let's not. Let's not, shall we? The last thing I need is a bit of a coin stuck to my finger. There's Guy Fawkes. 
worth one quid per part. <laughs> Some assembly required. Put the outer on a key ring. That's not a bad idea. Don't think I've ever had a counterfeit coin. I have seen a fake hundred dollar bill before. Oh, oh another guy forks. This is the guy forks bag, isn't it? And Lord Kitchener. Both very common. Star pull of the whole hunt. <laughs> I can't believe it actually busted it out. I didn't think that was going to happen. Harrison's Coins watching and playing Fortnite. So well, good luck Fortniteing. I hope you I hope you win. I've not played Fortnite. I'm not really sure what you do on Fortnite, if I'm honest. Per member. There's no such thing as per member. Star push of the hunt says total coins. <laughs> We've got Florence Nightingale there again. And hey, where are you going? Bruno's portrait. Which will pop there. Is it a mule? I don't think so. I don't think so. What happened to the coin? It's a fake. It's a fake, and there was a little bit of give, and someone told me to push it out, so I gave it a try, and out it popped. So there we go. It had it. It had it. Ooh, that's a nice one. Great Fire of London. Lovely stuff. They are not too common. Minecraft with guns, apparently. Post a picture of the destroyed coin on Facebook, Instagram as well. Uh, I, I did. Oh, you want to? You want to see it in in, this, in the bits? Okay, maybe. I'll do that. I'll do that later. What can we spot? Can we actually spot anything? Is there enough focus to spot? Oh yeah, there is actually. Put the Brunels together. I can't push the Brunels out. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Second from bottom says Stacy Lou. Oh, what does that say? I can't even read it. Uh, oh, I know this one. Where does it start? The lamps are going out all over Europe. The lamps are going out all over Europe. Who can guess that first? The lamps are going out all over Europe. I'll show you the obverse. I might give you a, key, a clue. The lamps are going out all over Europe. Master Temple's got it. He's going to be the first on YouTube. Harrison's Coins got it. And Makamula. Kitchener. Were there any others? I have just moved them around. I apologise. Thank you very much for the super chat, Katie Jones. Slave trade at the bottom. Uh, I think you're right. Where does it start? Uh, am I not a man and a brother? That sounds like the evolution of slave trade to me. There we go. Were there any others? Did anyone else spot any others? Number three, number four. No, I don't think so. And they're standing on the shoulders of giants. I think the rest are just standing on the shoulders of giants. Although I said that last time, I found a Commonwealth game, so. EastEnders or Curry? Is there a neither option? <laughs> if I had to watch one, I always thought Curry relationship was a little bit funnier than EastEnders. The times that I, had, that I was forced to watch it. George Dog wants a shout out. There you go. Emmerdale. Oh no, I'd rather watch Paint rather than Emmerdale. That was boring. I'm sorry, but that was a very, very boring program. Uh, 
Jeff Jeff Coins likes the hat. <laughs> it was the Behoy that found it. He found it, I bought it. It was only Harrison's Coins that saw the Commonwealth Games. Need a Sherlock for Team Sherlock? Oh, no way. No chance. Uh, there is Rugby. That's another common one to find. And some Lloyds Bank. No, I use NatWest. I do use Lloyds Bank, though I pay in at, Lloyd, at Lloyds Bank. I take out from the NatWest and pay into Lloyds. Oh, we've got a Britannia. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What year? What year do we reckon? Caledonian Coins has become a Toledonian. Thank you very, very much, Cali. <laughs> James B. has sent some new hat suggestions for my perusal. There we go. What was laughter's magic word as well? Well, we'll do that after we've got this. Everyone's saying 15 over on Twitch, apart from Stacey Louis thinks 16. 17, 18, or oh, generous people over on YouTube. 16, 15, 16, 15, 16. It's 50 50 on YouTube. It's 50 50 on YouTube. Toledonian coins here. <laughs> it is a 2015. Wowee. Unbelievable. Uh, Robert Roberts says, Chris, do you like my rugby tube? I'm going, I know. It was, yeah, it was stunning. Thank you for sending me the picture. I may have gone and bought the standard silver. So that should be featuring the video soon. That was Active Union, fairly common. There we go. Preparatory. Preparatory? Preparatory? Preparatory. Preparatory. Preparatory, I think. I think it's pre preparatory. Yeah? Preparatory. Preparatory. Kelly wants to know what happened to that broken Juban coin. Well, I had my Weetabix this morning. No, <laughs> it was a fake. And there's a little bit of a wobble. And someone said, um, try and push it, try and push it out. And I had a go and out it popped. That's the Botox Queen. No definition of face. Do I still use TSV Bank? I don't. My branch is closed now. That was the branch I used to manage as well, unbelievably. Power to. Paratory, 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 preparatory, I think, preparatory. Oh, almost missed it. Florence Nightingale, blinking, you'd miss it. And we've got Charles Dickens. What's the back of the... What's on the back of that broken face one? It's the technology's design. Uh, with, well, it has got a hologram on it actually. And it does fade in and out. So that is not the worst designed fake. They've got one of the key fate, uh, key security features sorted, but that is a bit of a giveaway. That's a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? Katie Jones is getting her whole family to say magnanimity, magnanimity, magnanimity. Magnanimity, hot diggity, who knows? Pepperoni preparatory. Pepperoni preparatory. The one is unique New York. You try to say that five times in a row. Unique New York. Another act of union. And then speaking of magnanimity, there it is. B is for Botox Queen. <laughs> Magnanimity, says George. We'll edge hunt the next bag. Get you guys involved. Ow. There's G 
two Brunel portraits piles. Oh, good, good spot. I'll move the magnanimity up. How could you even tell? You can barely even see. Oh, eagle eyes. Who's that? Ruby Davis is eagle eyed. The shrew from Peru always puts glue on her shoe. Christopher is quite entrepreneurial. There we go. There's another one. Entrepreneurial. So you have two business cards. I have three, in fact. So. <laughs> Uptown Rick is hosting the stream of the viewer. Thank you very, very much, Uptown Rick. Harrison says the bottom one. I think that's standing on the shoulders of giants. And well, that's got a hair on it. Nice. Number five. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's standing on the shoulders of giants. I'm not convinced we've got anything there. Nope. Case of the diddlies. We'll try again. We'll try again. Stop turning them so fast. Oh, we knew there's gonna be nothing in that one, though. We knew there's gonna be nothing in that one, though. You know, someone said in a previous hey, video that I repeat doing? myself a lot of times. I say the same thing twice, uh, and I'm, I hear myself do it now. Now that someone's um, now that someone's pointed it out. Harrison's coins joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. Three. Seven? I don't think so. No, not number four. Bottom one says Master Temple. Ooh. Something will turn up. Holy Toledo. Something will turn up. Who knows what that is? I know this one. Aviation music is off for a cycle. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Enjoy. We used to get changed on a Thursday and go through it to McDonald's where you work. Oh, cool. Master Temple's got it. As has Caleb B. and Macamula. It is Charles Dickens. Did we have anything else? <laughs> Elk says Q. <laughs> I don't think seven is anything. I think they are all just standing on the shoulders of giants. Oh, I see. Did you mean don't stop turning them so quickly, like turning them like that? My bad. I'll slow down next time. Favourite song about coins? Oh. Three Coins in the Fountain. I love that song. Abolition of the Slave Trade there. Bit of a gap at the bottom of that. Only a little bit though. Pennies from Heaven is another good one. Joe Hardy says, I post something in the PO box and I think everything went out. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ooh, golden guinea. Very nice find. Money for nothing. Favourite coin in the 50 collection has to be Isaac Newton. Penny for your thoughts. Money talks. Money by Pink Floyd. Money burns a hole in my pocket. I like that one too. Can you do the coin elbow catch? I have no idea what you mean. George Dog called a guinea. One pound fish. Goodness gracious. Hello to coins to collect. Look, look, look at him. Look at him buttering you all up. He wants some subscriptions. Go over and subscribe to Trev. If you haven't already subscribed to coins to collect, he makes some cracking videos. Uh, your, his Gibraltar 
holiday vlog was fantastic. Anything by Johnny Cash. Good shout, good shout. I think I saw something then. I think I saw something then, but I don't know what it was. What's the edge inscription on it? The hollow crown. Oh, we know what that is. We know what the hollow crown is, don't we? Cream. Cash rules everything around me. Wu-Tang Clang. Clang. Clan. Wu-Tang Clang. Clang. Clan. Goodness gracious. God, Master Temple knows his edge inscriptions, doesn't he? He's been swatting up. Shakespeare's histories. Amazing. Laughter and Darren Cheshire got it too. Wu-Tang Clang. Clang. I keep saying clang. Unbelievable. Right then, last bag. See if you guys can spot anything. I'm turning them very slowly. Is that a new polar coin? I'll tell you about it in a moment, Trev, after we've... Uh, we'll go top, tops number one, if you spot anything. You've got to pick a pocket or two, very good. Third from top is DNA. I don't think so. That looks like shoulders of giants to me. Second one. I think it's shoulders of giants as well. I think this might, all, this might just be a bust. I think it's a bust. Everyone's saying number three though. Number three is definitely technologies. Definitely diddly squat in that bag. <clears throat> so Trev, Trev hasn't seen. For those of you that haven't tuned in, this was a fake one. And it was a little bit loose. There's a little bit of a wobble to it. And someone said, try and push the inner part out. So I gave it a bit, a good old heave ho and out it popped. And it is the Botox Queen. She's got no definition in her face. Very bizarre. Quite a bit of definition in the crown and the hair. Even the lines in the top of her head, just nothing on her face. Strange that. The effort that's got into it, because also it has the thingy, what's it, the hologram in the middle. All that effort, and there's... She's put too much foundation on today. But there we go. Star push of the hunt. The star pull is probably, I'm going to go with... Ooh, a bit of a mat, a bit of a tie, a bit of a tie. Great Fire of London, the twenty fifteen Britannia. Have you seen it before? I haven't seen that before. No, the fake that is. Diddly squatted bag. Yes, that bag suffered from a case of the diddlies. It was coin one hundred and one for the set to push it out. <laughs> Nearly a hundred likes. Holy Toledo! Can you believe it? Right then. So let me just rack these up. We'll flip back over. These are the, again, for the people that haven't been tuned in, these are all the redesigned A for uh, the Alphabet 10 P's. Uh, I said last stream, if you wanted to go away and redesign the A for Alphabet, submit it to me, I'd feature it on a video. I will go through everyone's names that kindly submitted it, submitted these to me uh, at the end of the live stream, but there is, a, there is a straw poll. Links are in the description, or if you're on Twitch, I'm sure a moderator will post the link. Um, so you can go and vote for your favourite one. The winner gets a prize as well, so stay tuned for that. So if you haven't already voted, we have got... Number one is a, someone submitted two designs. It was the Academy Award and uh, the train AMG. AMG train, is that right? A for Akbar. The next one I forgot to put a number on it. It's A for Astronomy. Three is A for A. a Oreo. Four is A for Attenborough. Five is A for Alex Alexander Graham Bell. Six is A for Armchair. Seven is A for Apple Pie. I don't know why I keep saying A4 because it's all, it's all A's. We won't do that. Eight is Army. Uh, nine is Afternoon Tea. Ten is Aviation. Eleven is Afternoon Tea again. Twelve is Absolute Coins. And thirteen is Abbey Road. So be sure to get on and vote if you haven't already on the straw poll. What happened to that £2 coin? I've got it here. I've still got it. That'll go in my oddities box. I can't quite put them back together, but it'll go with my oddities. But I'm going to go wash my hands. I should be back in a moment.
I'm back. How is the voting going? How is the voting going? Let's have a peek. Number 13, Abbey Road is still way out in front. How many votes has Absolute Coins got? I keep looking. Which one's Absolute Coins? Number 12. Oh, he's rising up. He's got three votes now. There we go. It's going well, isn't it? I'll have to figure out a way to get it so you guys can't see who's winning. I have to figure that out. So it's a surprise at the end. But some real stutters. Has to be said. Have you missed anything? We've done 10 P's, two pounds, 50 P's. We're going back to 10 P's next. And we know what the second bag means. <laughs> Kian Regan says, Absolute Coins must have made an extra two accounts. <laughs> How do you vote, Christopher Clex? Uh, if There's a link in the description on the YouTube video. You can click on that and vote. He got his family to vote. There we go. Absolute Coins being called out. Add your age plus your year of birth. Every person is 2020. Ah, of course, of course. Hmm. I'll blow, I'll blow my vape this way. I don't want to blow the vape up to David Attenborough. That seems rude. I'll blow it down at absolute coins, maybe. Hello, Gollum Guy forty nine. Thank you for tuning in. Most favourite chocolate? Oh, that's tricky. Snickers probably. Snickers is probably my go-to. Snickers de probably. All right, look at this hat hair. This is dreadful. I'm in desperate need of a haircut now. Not quite brave enough to cut it myself. Although I may go to Behoy Barbers. I can itch right on the top of my head. <laughs> but absolute coins is angry. <laughs> he's running around finding more devices to vote on. Is what he's doing. Uh, Ten P's. We've already looked at the book. Right. Well, we found absolutely no alphabet Ten P's in the first bag. We found one territory which just about saved the hunt. We'll keep that there as a lucky. As a lucky token, I think. Actually, pop it this side. Pop it that side as a lucky token. Right, Christopher, what did you do with the scissors? There we go. Beohoy Barbers is the new local business venture for him. <laughs> as long as he doesn't cut mine crooked. Ricky Rick's got a number one all over. Thank you, Franks wouldn't go to that Beohoy Barbers. Snickers crispy are amazing. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't particularly impressed with them. The white chocolate Snickers, oh, was amazing. The double chocolate Mars bars as well. Oh my goodness, I could, I, well, I did eat a whole box of them. I bought a box from Costco and I quite quickly munched my way through that. They're dangerous to have around. Even laughed would have to think twice. <laughs> Lynn Mills says, thanks for the stream, Christopher, but I have to go. Well, thank you for tuning in, Lynn Mills. I hope you enjoy the rest of your um, weekend. Got on, guys, saying hello to the guys on YouTube. The pie shop next door to Behoy Barbers is a bit suspect, though. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Surprisingly Moorish, I hear, those pies. Already made a bee for next week and sent it in to me on Twitter, says Mark. Wow. There we go. I don't even know what, I, what I'm doing yet. I think need to think something a little bit out of the box because um, I said if you if you pick if you draw the same thing I draw, 
instant win. In the States, we have Snickers filled with peanut butter or almond butter. Not sure if they have them anywhere else. Uh, the peanut butter one rings a bell, not almond though. And yet you were skinny. <laughs> My father keeps telling me my metabolism will catch up to my eating habits. He, says, he tells me to wait till I hit 40. What bank did I work for? I worked for TSB. I was there for five years. Was it six? I can't remember. I was a bank manager for two years, at the, the last two years I was there, but it all got a bit much. It all got a little bit too much. And the pay was pants too, so. <laughs> Edge on the 10 piece. I don't think so. I don't think so. How old am I? 27. 26 next month, in less than a month's time. What? 26? That's going backwards, isn't it? 20, 28. 26 next month, as if. I'm trying to multitask, that's what I'm blaming it on. If you could have any designer coin, what would it be? I want a UK counties set. I think that would be awesome. Like the Americans have the state quarters. Colin Guy likes double deckers. I like double deckers as well. 27. 27, also a great liar, Uncle Christopher. <laughs> Robert Roberts is going to be 60, June 3rd. Well, I hope you have a fantastic birthday, Robert Roberts. That's a little bit before my birthday. All the best people are born in June, though, right? Akamula's just gone 63 on Star Wars Day. Amazing. Well, oh, happy belated birthday to you. George Dog is 12 next month. Jonathan is 5 at the end of May. Bounty buttons with Smarties. Oh, Bounty. Oh, no, I don't like Bounties. You can keep your Bounties. Uh, buttons with Smarties are yummy. They do sound, that does sound good though. Anything with coconut, no thank you. Hedge, hedge, a bag of 10 peas, oh my goodness. Do we really want this? Okay, go on then. Go on then, a one-time offer. Shout out your numbers. Jasmine says six, two, four. Six. Jasmine found the shield. Uh, seven says Amber. Two, four, six, seven. Amber found a shield. Stacy Lou says ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Stacy Lou has found a shield. Sporty Girl says five, two, four, five. Stacy Lou found a shield. Uh, Liz Wallace says twelve, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, Liz found a lion. CS Cuba says one, that is a lion. Uh, Golden Guy says nine, two, four, six, eight, nine is a lion. Josh says 11, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 is a shield. Ricky Rick says 11, two, four, six, eight, 10. 11 is a lion. Sean says 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Sean has found a lion. Uh, the coin collector says 2, number 2 is a shield. Uh, George Dog says 3, 3 is a lion. Coins Forever says 6, 2, 4, 6 is a lion. Uh, Usha Dave says seven two four six seven is a shield. 
Hello, Ninja Zinks. Um, Flash says five two four five is a shield. Over on Twitch, we haven't had any new submissions. Coin collects, coins to collect says one, which is a lion. Connor R. War Wood. Connor has joined this hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much, Connor. Connor says three. Number three is a shield. Andrew Green says five, two, three, four, five is a shield. Connor 101 hopes is 21. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's only like six left. Joshy says six. Six is a lion. Holy uh, Toledo. Uh, nice fez, says Harry. Thank you very, very much. We've got a case of the diddlies. I think we do have a case of the diddlies. Gollum Guy says four, two, four is a shield. Bottom says Keza. Bottom is a shield. You've got three choices left. Number five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll be back to the middle. 130 Mark Scarborough. I don't think so. I don't think so somehow. Number two says Gollum Guy again. It's a lion. And the last one is a lion. We're not going to be doing that again. The chances of finding one of them is pretty slim to none. Right, we're going to find a letter there. What letter are we going to find, do you think? Joshy picks the 25th in the next bag. <laughs> Has Bungle been barred? No, I just thought it'd be nice to have a stream with just myself and you guys in the comments. It's easier to keep tr keep track of the comments and reply to people when it's just me. Um, but also, a lot of the coin tubes have given up a lot of their time for to, to a lot of the streams, so I thought I'll give them a give them their Sunday evening off. That's just a bit of schmutz on the coin. I say that would have been a a cut error and a half. Favourite Olympic 50p coin, it has to be gymnastics. Uh, Case thinks we're going to find K, Darren Coles thinks we're going to find X. Robert Roberts reckons another jersey. I hope you enjoyed the fact my favourite 50p has a stamp on it. Yeah, it was, surpri it was a surprising. No Newton in your list. I was surprised. Newton is a fan favourite. Does the new pound coin have designs on it? It doesn't yet, no. Hopefully we'll soon, though. That is quickly becoming my number one asked question on the Q and A. Say, when will the new pound have commemorative designs on it? I think it should. I think it'd be great. N R J. Not another bust. Well, most of these bags will be in the ten P's. It had to be said. Jasmine Darcy says, Hi Christopher, I'm 11 and I have about a half a book full of 50p coins. Love your videos. Wow. Well, you, that's going good. I hope you find the, the other half that you're looking for soon. Curtis is off next week. Amazing. I just had a week off. What about tea? Oh yeah, pet shout outs, we're in the second bag. So we'll do some pet shout outs. If you've got a pet and you want to shout out, let me know. As long as it's not called Roger, we do pre we do prejudice against pets called Roger here, I'm afraid. So if you have the misfortune to have named your pet Roger, it's, it's, it's going to be ignored. <laughs> very good, very good. Thank you for joining the hunt, Kieran. Although I think his real name might be Ryan. I have a feeling. Pickle the dinosaur wants a shout out. There you go. Rose wants a shout out. Millie the, do Millie the dog and Jasper the cat. Bob the dog. Very good. Clap the hamster. <laughs> uh. Stefan Not Scottish Ryan says, I think we should get another NHS coin. I can, we've got one already, but I want to see one on the £2. Agreed, agreed. 
It's got to be a cheeky garden gnome as well. Outrageous. Outrageous. Uh, we've got some more pets. Um, Meg the Cat. Rabbit Bebs Betsy. <laughs> uh, Cooper the Puppy Pug. Uh, Billy the Cat. My pet Rock. Oh, very good. Coin 101. My young goat, Billy the Kid. <laughs> Shout out to my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Charlie puppy and getting her in two weeks. Wow. Creek and Branch the Budgie. Uh, Bill the Duck and Barry and Gerald the Cats. Snacks the puppies. Getting a shout out from Andrew Green. Um, Big Blue, Master Temple's Koi. Have you ever found a fake other than two pangolins? Uh, I found some dodgy looking 50 bees, but. None that would jump out to me as a fake. Hattie the dog, Trixie and Barbara, my little guinea pigs. Daisy the cat, Snacks the dog and Werther the cat, says Sean. Ali the cat, says Darren Cheshire. Bill the duck and Barry and Gerald the cats. What a name for cat Gerald, I love it. To lose the... Whatever that is, main coon pass. I couldn't be. To, I wouldn't even be able to tell you if that was a cat or a dog, or any of the other above. What is it about fakes that makes you want to keep them? I don't know. I don't know. There's just that little voice inside my head that says, "This is keep them, keep them." But also, what else are you gonna do with them? Uh, Connor wants shout out to Pickle the Jack Russell, Indy the French Bulldog, Roxy the French Bulldog, Lily the French Bulldog, Luna the Cat, George the Cat. They're amazing. <laughs> Scottish Ryan. Angus the Pig. Uh, Ryan apparently has a pet ostrich as well. There we go. I feel like that is a trap. I feel like that was a trap, Ryan. I can't figure out how it's a Ryan. Grossy Coin Hunt. You're, you're here just in time for pet shout outs. Bozo, the Border Collie. Amazing. I love that name, Bozo. How great is that? How great is that? Charlie the Dog. Grossy's Queen Ant. Lily, Caesar, Barney, and Kaz the Cats. My pet tree, Teresa Green. Very good. Very good. Well, that's a bit technicolored, isn't it? I might keep that one actually. I quite like that. Mummy Behoy is getting anxious. You haven't shouted out Simba and Nala the cats. Simba and Nala the cats. I didn't see that message. No apologies. Main Coon is a very large cat, apparently. Gerald the gorilla says Robert Roberts. Tom and Jerry the cats says Norfolk Coin Hunt. Uh, Charlie the dog, Bertha the German pointer, and Bramble the border. Uh, Bacon the breakfast pig. <laughs> Duncan NH says, Claire, my pet wife. <laughs> Very good. Graham the Cas Casoveri? Caso uh, pass. I've never heard of that before. That's a new one on me. Oh, very good, George. You're not going to get me. I did not just fall out the lemon tree. The guy at the mint said, when a coin gets to 5% fakes, it has to be scrapped. So the £1 was at 3%, so surely the £2 coin has to be changed soon. Who knows? Who knows? I reckon the two pound coin was a lot harder to fake than the old round pound though. Surely it was. Defo not Scottish Ryan wants an octagon. A cassowary is like a dinosaur ostrich. Okay. Coin 101's hopes future police dog Rex. Span of the monkey. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, 
Britannia two pound coin new in circulation. Well, the VE day anniversary is tipped to be the next one. Definitely not Scottish Ryan has got a mad dog called 2020. He's a very good boy. Is he a very empty boy though? <laughs> Hamish the Haggis, says Cali from Caledonian Coins. I can't see how NIFC coins can be faked. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Any coin can be faked. In fact, you'll find lots of the fake Gruffalos about. Over on that glorious online jumble sale that is Wish. Oh yes, Grocery Coin Hunt has an ant farm. A, a what was it called? A f f f former... former for Macarellium? I don't know. I don't know how to spell it, let alone how to pronounce it. Uh, and he's taking ideas for names for the queen of his ant colony. So if anyone's got a, a, a good idea to name a queen ant, Formicary. There we go. Hello to Rets and Relum. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> it's your friendly neighbourhood redacted. Amazing. Adam the Ant. <laughs> Barbara the Queen Ant. Sheba the Queen Ant. Click Queen deck. Acid Queen. Antrim. Sounds like a good name for an ant. Kieran the Ant. <laughs> oh, we've got something. It's not a jersey, it's a Gibraltar in the Eurofort, 1998. We got something, we got something. Polly, Alice, Ant Elope. One of my sons wants an ant farm. Told him he can have one when he moves out. <laughs> Ahmed. Uh, Ahmed? Ahmed the ant? Whatever you do, Grace, you don't call it Roger. <laughs> Albert is a good queen ant name. <laughs> Coins and more UKs. Putting a load of team towers in there. I'm not going to say that, Jamesy B. Hoy. One slip of the tongue, and that's then that's problem, and that's a problem. One slightly misheard word. Is the queen a boy or a girl? Ants don't want, don't want to assume. <laughs> Ant Enna. Oh, how good is that? Ant Enna. I think that's my favourite one so far. That is a really dodgy pun. Queen Ant Enna. Ant Anthony. Very good. Hello, Harry. I'm great, thank you. I hope you're well as well. Oops, crash bang wallop. Call it Queen Padme. Ant Medalla. Ooh. 
bean the ant. Can I have a birthday shout out for Eric Sean Red? There you go. Where's that name from then? Eric. Armadillo. What's that weird looking coin with a hole in it? Okay, so it was a fake. <laughs> Karina after the great Genosian queen. Very good idea, Retsim. It was a fake and it was a little bit wobbly. And Coin101 Hope says, try and push it out. And I did. And out it popped. You can tell it's a fake. Because the queen has no definition in her face. It's the Botox queen. And it's there for good luck. I think I've been had. <laughs> Eric, what was it? <laughs> Do we have to design a B10B? Yep. B for Bond, redesigns to be submitted by next Saturday to be featured. And I'll show you the designs, seeing that we're not finding anything. They are the new designs currently. And there's a link to a straw poll, which you can click to go and vote if you wish. They're all numbered apart from A for astronomy because I forgot to put a number on that. So B is next week. B is next week. It's a trap. Exactly. I'll finish off this bag and we'll go back to the hunt. But you're not missing anything. Don't say it again and don't say it slowly. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. I want to see what it was now. That's really going to bug me. Can't find it. Do I have a Doctor Who coin? I don't, no. Why not use the Greek alphabet? That's a good idea. Hello, Harry. Be who's going to PM me the name. <laughs> so that Matthew Christopher is going to be an alien. I'm never an alien. I am never an alien. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. How do you send a picture in? If you tag me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, send it to you on Discord. If you don't have any of the above, uh, or if, if, if you don't want to send it publicly, uh, send it to me in a, in a private message. Alternatively, you can email the email that's in the about page, but I would prefer it on my social media, if I'm honest. There's one less place for me to hunt around for them. Where's Christopher? <laughs> For those that are aware, we play a game on Jackbox on Discord. It's called Push the Button, and some people are aliens. You've got to figure out who the deceptive aliens are, and it's always great fun. And it's never me. C 
Stephen Hawking was not an alien. Well, talk to Behoy about that. Talk to Mr. Behoy about that. I'll have to get my dad to send it, send one in. Uh, she's too young. Of course, yeah, of course. If you want your parent, get your parents to send it in. Make sure they credit you with it, though. So I can see that. So I can call you out as the winner. player do I have any other hobbies to be fair the YouTube the coins take up the majority of my time outside of my night outside of my day job um, so other than that not really I do collect stamps though UK coins forever good night thanks for tuning in Elvis is an alien <laughs> Uh, Lewis P says hi Christopher sat here making my wife watch this can you shout out to uh, Misha hello Misha thanks for thanks for watching you are now dismissed <laughs> this is the bag Darren Chesh is feeling it it could be it could be Caledonian Coins loves the new stamps he's got. Uh, those Star Wars stamps I order got lost in the post. Oh no! Not good. When will your coin, al coin albums be available? Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. But there are larger issues in the world at the moment, unfortunately, that are holding them back. Just joined. Who's that in the top left? Have we got to scroll up? Or is it just Kieran again? Connor joined the hunt, though. What's in busy fam? We found a Euro Fort and then this one I just kept because it was kind of cool colours. Whoa. This is the last bag. Last chance saloon here. Still waiting to see that X that I guess you would find. I know, Darren. It'll, it'll be in here. This is the last handful, isn't it? This is the last chance. It's going to be here, Darren. If not, I hold you solely liable. <laughs> My lawyers will be in touch. Wow, wow, wow. We got nothing. We did get the Euro Fort, though, which is kind of cool. So it looks like the, um, the broken fake £2 coin did not bring us the luck we anticipated, sadly. I wonder if I can actually get it back in without losing a finger. No. Close, but no cigar. Unbelievable. Right then, we're going to hop back over to the Alphabet 10 P's. These were the redesigns sent in. You will know what it's all about now. You can click the link in the description to go vote for it. The mods, I'm sure, will kindly post links to it as well. Uh, the winner gets a prize, and we will be drawing that after the next bag. So this will be your last chance for, to vote for it. So I shall be back in a moment.
And we're back. Anyone's not voted yet? Anyone not voted yet? Confess. Confess. Let's have a look to see how many points Absolute Coins has got. Wow, we number 13 flying away. Oh, Absolute Coins has got a couple, it's got two more devices. He voted for himself there. 13 is flying away. 117 people have voted, 118 people have voted. Thank you very, very much. I think we, <laughs> we might have a winner. We might have a winner. If you have voted, let us know in the comments that you voted. Be loud, be proud. Don't have to tell us who you voted for. Kiss forever, says Redsom. <laughs> In struggle with card, don't worry about that. Don't worry. Not to worry. Bring back to the coin hunt now. Alright, we have to move this because we generally, we generally put coins where that is. 50 Ps. We're wrapping up the stream with one last hunt. This bag's idiot proof. There we go, got him. Harry says, can you please follow me on Instagram? There you go, there's a bit of a plug for you. In the first bag. That was a bust. Hopefully a Q. I know, wouldn't that just be superb? You are due the Q. I very much am so. <laughs> I didn't get one all of last year. Any day now. Any day now. I live and hope. There's a Benjamin Bunny though. Not quite a cute gardens, I would say. Not quite a cute gardens. 2017's Tale of Peter Rabbit. Again, not quite a cute gardens. Do I keep my fasts? What do you mean? Oops. Obi Wan Kenobi. Obi Q. I think Obi Wan Kenobi was better. Edge hunt, please. Okay, okay. Seeing as you ask so politely, seeing as you ask nicely. Oh, I can't get in. Can't get into this one either. Right then. Master Temple to 74. I think not Master Temple. Actually, that could be. There'll be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it Britannia? Uh, Shans of 13. It's Shans idea. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 is. Britannia. Uh, Jeffrey says number 7. 2, 4, 6, 7. Is it Britannia? Red to Roman says seven as well. Two, four, six, seven is Britannia. Third is Q. Third is Q. I think not. <laughs> Gracie says nine. Two, 
four, six, eight, nine is Britannia. Joshi says seven, two, four, six, seven is Britannia. Kargu says three, one, two, three is Britannia. Uh, Joe says nine, two, four, six, eight, nine is a shield. T Bunny says eleven, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven is the bottom one, which is Britannia. Uh, Alex Johnson says five, two, four, five. I'm trying to pick people we haven't had today as well. Britannia. The Bihoy can smell a Taekwondo in here. Um, here haven't we had Ryan collects coins as four, two, four. Here's Britannia. Flash says three, one, two, three. Shield. Darcy says four. Oh, sorry, Jasmine. Two, four. Britannia. Fifth, two, four, five. Sakirin has Britannia. Harrison Squint says number one. Number one is hey, Britannia. Carl Goose joined the hunt. Thank you very, very much. You got four left. Four left. Two is Q. Q is two. Two is not Q. Karen says three. One, two, three. Karen found a shield. Uh. Marty says three, so two, three is back to the front. Is Britannia, which leaves us with a Britannia. Oh no, they're all mixed up now. I haven't did split them out. What a dork. Let me give me two seconds to sort this out. We'll do the next one. We'll keep going until we find something. I very stupidly didn't split them out though. What have we got then? What have we got then? Number three says Joe Hardy. One, two, three. Shield. Six, two, four, six. Six is a shield. Darren Cole says ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Oops, getting all jumbled up there. Ten is a Britannia. Finley says five, two, four, five is a Britannia. Uh, Sean says 13 again, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen is, ah, drop them all, Britannia. Seven, two, four, six, seven is Britannia. Gordon Davis says nine, two, four, six, eight, Nine is a Britannia. Karen says nine, two, four, six, eight, nine is a Britannia. Come on, we've got to find something. We've got to find something. Jackie Gunn says fourth. Fourth is a shield. Kurt Koenig says ten, two, four, six, eight, ten is a Britannia. Hassan says four, two, four, four is Britannia. Uh, Marty says eight, two, four, six, eight is Shield. Uh, Willertron says seven, two, four, six, or oh, two, four, six, seven is Shield. Two is a Q. Two is not a Q. Jeffrey Hennessy says three. One, two, three is Britannia. Steve Boxcoin says five, two, three, four, five is a very grubby Britannia. Three says Hassan. Nope.
Two is accused, says Jasmine. She keeps saying it's going to be right sometime. Ah, Jasmine found something. It's not a cube, but it is a Peter Rabbit from 2017. Harrison says number one. Number one is a Britannia, which leaves us the last one, which is also a Britannia. We got one. We got one. The madness is over. The madness is over. Right, the, the chat and cart can settle down. <laughs> Robert Roberts is 170. <laughs> Where can you get 50p's? You can get them in your change at shops or you can try and ask at your bank see if they'll let you have any coins. I get mine from the bank but I do have a business account which makes a difference in some places. Most personal accounts will limit you on how many coins you can take in or out at any one given time but because there's fees and charges involved with the business account they make some money back on it. Did I do pet shout outs? I did do pet shout outs yes but if I missed, if, if you missed it let me know and I might, I, I'll, I'll give you a I need to have my glue stick to turn up. I've lost it. They're talking about pies over on Twitch. <laughs> They've lost interest in the Holy coins. Uh, ben Hilton has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very much, Ben. Or you can rob the bank. Uh, this is not a message that's endorsed by Christopher Glecks. 2017 shield. That's a keeper. My cat Philip, my dog Holly, and Chris uh, and Christopher Glecks, and my hamster Pippin, and my new fish. Very good. My dog's name was Pongo. Isn't that the Dalmatians? 101 Dalmatians was Pongo, wasn't it? I seem to recall. Hey, we've got something. There we go. www.wwwf. Lovely stuff. Ben Hilton says, what are we looking for? More like this. More like this. We want more like this. What a coin. What a find. Unless you're total coins, then you see them every day. <laughs> But yeah, so that's a definitive design shield, but not after that. That's another definitive design, Britannia. Anything else though is interesting, especially a rare one. Like that WWWF. Do we have to redesign B? Yes, go ahead. You can start putting the submissions in now. And I said next week, if you submit the same design as I do, instant win. If you pick by the comments again, you win another prize. You win a prize as well. So the letter for this week is B. It's B for Bond. Ideally, pick something British. Ideally, something that's not already on the alphabet ten P's. Edge hunt, please. We'll do a few more bags before we go back to doing an edge hunt. They should bring out a five pound coin with someone wearing a mask. <laughs> Dear. I think not. Peace, prosperity and pepperonis maketh the breakfast coin. Be for Borough, Middlesbrough. <laughs> Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Keza submitted a design through Facebook Messenger. I got to design mine before having a look at your guys' ones. I'll do it while I'm on Discord chat this evening. We've got Girl Guiding there. That's a fairly common one there. B for Bank of England, not a bad idea again. Of 
Question for my coin super powers and yourself, Christopher. Are there any coins with precious stones in them? I have seen one promoted, I think it was on Instagram, with a ruby in it. But other than that, not that I'm aware of. Jeremy Fisher. Another very common design. We're just missing Tom Kitten for the 2017 set now. B for Big Ben. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Coin some more UK likes pies. Very good. Very good. Saw so a reproduction Henry VIII with the Ruby. That's the one I think I saw, to be fair. Thanks for tuning in, Leon. B for Bruce Forsyth. Not a bad idea. B for BB-8. What do I do with coins I find? The common ones go back to the bank. Like this one here. Peter Rabbit, he goes back to the bank. The rare ones I keep in my collection. There's another Benjamin Binney. Benjamin Bonnie. But yes, you do have to draw your designs as well. So I had some people message me asking, can they just submit ideas? It has to be drawn. Has to be drawn. No matter how bad the drawing... Ooh. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to your underpants. We have found ourselves a 2011. What is it going to be? Let's get rid of these last two. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Master Simple reckons Taekwondo. Can it be photoshopped? Yes, of course. Football says Retzum Relum. Canoeing says Katie Jones. Football says Laughter. I think everyone wants it to be football. <laughs> I want it to be triathlon now, be honest. Shooting, wrestling, football, archery, archery, badminton, football. Fencing, boxing, swimming, football. Football, football, athletics. Canoeing, swimming, tennis, football, hockey, Volleyball, boxing, aquatics, tennis, chess. Ben Hilton, behave or be banned. Um, football, cycling, canoeing. It is archery. Did we get archery in the last bag? <laughs> there we go. That's a cool find. Any Olympic is a good find. One of these days it'll be football. One of these days it'll be football. Don't you worry. Just like one of these days it'll be Kew Gardens. Not likely, but we will keep hunting for it. It will turn up one of these hunts for sure. Yeah, we got it in the in the first part. There we go, bizarre. Two of them turning up. I won't complain though, because any Olympic, even archery, is a stunning find. Obviously, archery is the most common of all the of that set. Oops. Comes to the Queen's face if she dies. Will it be replaced by Charles' face immediately or will it take a long time? No, I imagine there will be a a period of mourning. They won't immediately put him on it, I wouldn't have imagined. Um, and then new coins going into circulation will feature him. But uh, Half Sleep Chris has a very good video on that whole subject. He, he will explain it much more eloquently than I. So head on over to his video. We have got ourselves Paddington at the Magnanimity. That's more like it. Magnanimity out in front in this in this hunt. And Roger Bannister. Another common one. <laughs> B 
My Apple Watch is going mad. I've been sat down for too long. Have I sent out replies to the PIA box yet? Uh, not the more recent ones, no. But I sent out a whole heap of replies. There was over a hundred replies I sent out, which shows how far behind I've got. That was a few weeks ago, though. Mrs. Jiggywinkle? Uh, where am I putting her? There. No Sherlock's though. Mm. Team No Hope. Team No Hope. The chat knows it already. Team No Hope. I think this should be a Thunderbird set of 50 piece. That's not a bad idea. Flowers of Scotland. Benjamin Bunny again. Team Tower for life, exactly, exactly. Team Tower. Thank you very much, Harry. Just started watching. Why is there a very broken two pound coin? So it's a fake. It appeared in we we're hunting through two pound coins. It was a very obvious fake. Uh, that side doesn't look too bad. It's got the hologram and everything in it. But have a look at that. The queen's got no definition in her face. And it was in there. And I said, there's a bit of give there. And Coin101 hopes says, try and push it out. And I did. And now it popped. And it's there for a good luck charm. Although it's not shown as much luck, to be fair. In Strudwick is Team Splinters. Sat on that fence, smelling of creosote. There should be an X's of Beehoy collection, but they were toned quickly with bitterness. Amazing. Peter Rabbit. Would you put on a 50p coin? I would do Captain Tom Moore. Ah, there's a fa that's a fantastic idea, an absolutely fantastic idea. What a hero that man is! Paddington at the tower. That's the one you want to see. Team Tower. Team Tower. Ooh, I almost slipped it. We've got another 2011. What do we reckon, folks? What do we reckon? Where can you sell your older special coins? You can try eBay or you can try some of the Facebook trading groups. Pole vaulting person. <laughs> Basketball. Football, archery, uh, boxing, football, archery, sailing, Q, archery, archery, sailing, football, hockey, wrestling, football, archery, tennis, tennis, badminton, football, archery. If everyone says football, it will happen. Chainsaw, juggling, canoe, chess, sailing, uh, WWF, swimming again, football, sailing, football, sailing, football, sailing, cycling, sailing, canoeing, <laughs> sailing, bear wrestling, a canoe, uh, football, swimming, judo, horse, Sailing, football, archery. Got to be Taekwondo this time. Legend of a man, he deserves his own coin. I totally agree, Kieran. Let's have a look then. It is... Da, 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 da. It is equestrian. Who said horse? Mark a day, said horse. Points to Mark a day. Well done. Donkey jumping. <laughs> Donkey jumping. Peter Rabbit. Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey time tonight. Here we go. Donkey jumping. <laughs> right. 
we are coming rapidly towards the end. We've got Victoria Cross medals, common find. We haven't had that many finds, but to be fair, we found two Olympics, so I won't be grumbling at that. We've got dictionary, very common. Nothing else there. Hockey on a horse. <laughs> Oi, that was a good catch. They almost spilled everywhere. Oh dear. Oh well. We've got four bags left. All right, just in case we don't get one. We will edge hunt this bag. So if you think Only you know where it is, in. even if you have had your number shouted out already today, feel free to join in again. Thank you very much, Olivia, for for joining the hunt. Is that ring thing money? It is not. No. So even if you've gone before, most oh, simple is 39. The, that'd be the ninth one, won't it? Number nine is Britannia. 13 is Shan. Two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 13. Sean, 13 is shield. Uh, Ian Strudwick says 5, 2, 4, 5 is Britannia. Kieran says 6, 2, 4, 6 is shield. Uh, Hassan says 6, 2, 4, 6 is Britannia. Alex Johnson says number 1. Alex Johnson, find a tower. Paddington at the Tower points to Alex Johnson. If you want to claim your points, rip off the top of your television set and post it to Bungle's PA box. Uh, Steve Box Coin says 7, 2, 4, 6, 7 is a shield. Uh, Stacey Lou says 7, 2, 4, 6, 7 is a shield. Keen Reagan says 3, 1, 2, 3 is a Britannia. Uh, 116 says Duncan. I'm not sure where that is. Champagne says 5, 2, 4, 5. Is it Britannia? Uh, Daniel M says 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Back to the front for 11. Is it Britannia? Terence Day says 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Is a shield. Steve Afton says 7, 2, 4, 6, 7 is a Britannia. Ritz and Rellum says minus five. One, two, three, four. Minus five is shield. Five is a Q, says Harrison. Two, three, four, five is a shield. Elk says six, two, four, five. Back to the front for six is a shield. Stacey Lou's daughter says four. One, two, three, four is a Britannia. Darren Cole says number two. Number two in the middle is Britannia. You got number one and number two. And Joseph Cassidy says number two first. It is Britannia, leaving us with their Britannia. There we go. Points to. I forget now. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering who it was that gets it right. How'd you claim your points? Rip off the top of your television set and post it to Bungle's P.O. box. <laughs> if someone does this, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have. <laughs> Bungle's gonna have words with me, you know. No, this is the have I got news for you points. Not have I got news for you. Whose lines are anyway points? We've got dictionary there. We have got the breakfast 50p. Peace, prosperity and pepperonis maketh the breakfast coin. Do I have Q guns? I do. I've got two very luckily. One I found before I started making the videos, and one that I found September two years ago. I started a YouTube channel, but no content yet. But because you're my favourite YouTube, I've featured your channel. Oh wow, thank you. So you just need to go and get yourself 100 bazillion subscribers. And then just remember me. Just remember me when you do. Oh, goodness. We've got our third Olympic. Olympic boxing. Wowee. Very nice. Three Olympics. 
can hardly believe it. That is the uh, laughter and coins to collect commemorative Olympic 50p, of course. Well, last bag of the hunt, and now the end is near. But a big thank you for those of you who have been watching. You can come over to the Discord server if you're over the age of 13. I'll be there in probably about 20 minutes after I've wolfed down something to eat, because I'm getting pretty hungry. Um, but if you're not over 13, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. Uh, not Discord if you're over th under 13. There you go, Team No Hope. There's a Sherlock. And there's a representation of the People Act. You can go there. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis again. All the pepperonis in this bag. And there is Paddington at the palace. So we were just missing Paddington at the station for the whole Paddington set. But that is your lot. I will be hunting through the coins off to the side, having a look at the key dates. I will post on my social media what we do find. But without further ado, let's get on to the winner then. So in... Uh, in last place but by no means least because you went to the effort to make the design and send it in which i'm very very grateful for is number three a for a oreo uh, and that was i believe king oreos that sent that in unsurprisingly um next we have with another with oh tied with two votes again number one which was the academy awards and the train the APT train and that was Josh Dolan so thank you very much Josh uh, next place we have number seven with three votes number seven was a for apple pie and apple pie was sent in on Twitter by Sam at mr. Vec Vec X V E C X so thank you for that next place we have number six which is a for armchair with three votes an a for armchair was sent in by ruby davies so thank you very much ruby i think ruby's been in the live stream as well i recognize I recognize the name um next up where were we six number nine with four votes number nine is uh, afternoon tea afternoon tea was sent in by ooh I can't see who got afternoon tea was sent in by my apologies I will find out and give you a shout out next next episode next week I haven't got that on my phone to hand uh, who was next number nine in with four votes is number eight which is a for Army, which is from Jamesy B. Hoy. Uh, what's that, number eight? Next in, number five with five votes. Number five is um, Alexander Graham Bell, which came in from Coins and More UK. It's a big word unto you. Um, where are we next? Uh, number 11 with six votes. Number 11 was Afternoon Tea. Which was sent in by little illustrations so thank you very much um where am i i've lost track next with six votes is number two which is admiral akbar and admiral akbar was sent in by john g blair very good very good i'm looking forward to a star wars set from john blair uh, that was number two. Then we have Astronomy with seven votes. Astronomy came from Photography by Ross over on Instagram. Thank you very much. Uh, that's Astronomy. Fourth place we have number 12, Absolute Coins. He's found himself some more devices, has our Absolute Coins. And that was sent in by Harrison Orr. So there we go. Absolute coins in, a, in a number four. He's climbed from bottom rank to fourth place. Well done, well done. 
Uh, we then have uh, equal points actually on eight. Number 10, which is aviation. Aviation was sent in, oh, by John John Blair. I may have had two from John Blair then. So he came third place. Joint third place. That means at number two, we have number four, which is A4. I've forgotten his, his name. David Attenborough. A for Attenborough from Amber Wakeling. A massive order to Amber on your second place finish there. Which means the number one space in with 47 votes, 38% of the popular votes is number 13, A for Abbey Road, which was sent in by Sean. However, I have had a message to say it was her idea, but very kindly drawn by Amber Wakeling. So Amber takes first and second place. So a massive well done. I'm sure you'll all join me in a round of applause to Amber for... Um, hitting first and second place obviously second place was someone else's idea sent in that she designed for them so a big well done to amber for that first and second place unbelievable amazing stuff well it has been an awesome evening <laughs> cheek of it <laughs> she's got talent she's got talent like i said uh, next week there could be even more designs coming in uh, there'll be a prize for the for who's who's voted for the, the best and also a prize if you design the same thing that I designed. So I'm not going to look at anyone's designs until I've drawn up my one and you won't see mine until next week. Um, but a big thank you. This has, this has been great fun doing the doing it again with just myself and you guys in the chat. It's been nice to catch up and see more and more of the comments and be able to answer more comments. Um, but make your homework this week is redesign B. So ideally something British, ideally something that's not already on coins at the moment um, but I won't rule anyone out for those reasons but I got number nine wrong did I who did number nine there's number nine in here what does she win it's up for negotiation it'll be up for negotiation I'll have a chat with her this evening on discord but a big word unto from joining in uh, over on twitch we'll raid someone we'll raid someone on YouTube as well don't you worry uh, what do I want to go to Twitch? Da, 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 da. Maybe let's move this thing. Read a channel. There we go. We're going over to cooking with Kate because I'm hungry. <laughs> so a massive thank you. Who do I see still over on Twitch? I see Defo, not Scottish Ryan. I see Fit Kieran. Uh, I see Rets and Relum. I see Master Temple. I see Amber Wakeling, the winner winner. A uh, big round of applause to Amber for that. I see the Bihoy. I see Mark Day. I see Master Temple and Lynn Mills who had to leave a bit earlier. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye. And then over on YouTube, hold on, we're not going anywhere, YouTube. Let me get a video out to raid. Who are we going to raid today? Let's have a look at my subscriptions. I haven't got anything planned for today. I've got it. That's the first one in my sub, sub box. So I will post a link to a video. Uh, if we can all go over there and type and and just say holy Toledo and if you and if you're feeling generous leave a subscri uh, subscribe as well but I see Welsh Ryan I see Aviation Media I see Tez Hall laughter thank you very much to the mods as well and apologies I didn't thank the mods on Twitch but I will be talking to them this evening uh, Snap Dragon Mark Abbott uh, Harry Sean Alex Johnson um, Tom Collects Duncan NH Elks uh, Amber Wakeling Ryan Collects Coins Denise Haynes Amy Jane Alex Johnson again Daniel M uh, Darren Lowe, Wendy Fletcher, uh, Keith Elric, Amber Wakeling, uh, Andrew Watson, Katie Jones, Ryan Collects Coins, Kurt, Sporty Girl, Keza, Darren Coles, Just Stevie, uh, Steve Ufton, Darren Cheshire, Robert Roberts, Laughter, thank you very much for watching. Head on over to this, this video, give it a like, give it a holy Toledo, maybe even give it a subscribe. Uh, and Steve from Bucks Coins, Coins Are More UK, Stephen Coverdale, Aidan Groves. Um, a massive thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins.